Hello, hello, everybody. Today we are going to be continuing our Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Expanded Sky playthrough. Once again, always grand thanks to the people behind the Expanded Sky mod ROM hack. It's just a wonderful, fun thing to spice up an already great game. Link to this ROM hack mod can be found in the description of the YouTube streams and videos of this here series. And as for chat, hello Neon, special chapter today, or what it's called. Uh, no special episode today, I know that's like, today's eek, ah, or something like that, but, uh, since we are in the middle of, uh, super story time, I want to continue the super story time. We'll get to Sunflora eventually, I promise. I think, because <laughs> we did Iglybuff last time, so I want to focus on story this time, and maybe grinding if we can, <laughs> if we can get back to the past Samurai Jack up in here, but... Yeah, Sunflora will have her day, probably next time. But without further ado, let us continue with the main story. We're 20 hours in. I don't know why, that feels like a long time. And we've only been on 31 adventures. Well, let's go talk to Grovile. Chapter 15, The Secret of the Planet's Paralysis. I unlocked two new ranks. I wonder when it will stop. <laughs> the game never stops. It's a grand adventure. Now let's see if I can remember Grovile's voice. I think I, I've not been consistent with him all that much. Good. This will do. Though Sableye won't be able to spawn us easily here. Tell us, Grovile. In the future, why did the planet's paralysis take place? The cause of the planet's paralysis. That dates back to your time in the world of the past. The planet's paralysis started with the collapse of Temporal Tower, which was governed by Dialga. D dialga Who's that? He is a legendary Pokemon that controls time. Dialga ensured the proper flow of time from Temporal Tower. Rumor has it it was caused by his heartbeat. Don't let him have a heart attack. But when Temporal Tower collapsed, time gradually got out of control. And eventually, the planet fell into paralysis. What? What happened to Dialga? When time went out of whack, Dialga lost control. Now, here in your future, the planet has become fully paralyzed. And thus, Dialga has lost almost all of his reason, and is governed by darkness. Dialga is now beyond recognition. He has become an entirely different entity. A primal Dialga, if you will. Isn't that just like him reverting back to like his primal roots that never existed? I don't know, I'm a Grovile. I live in the dark future. I don't think we have books here. Yes. He has been transformed into primal Dialga. A primordial presence. Okay. Ugh. Primal Dialga feels no emotion. He seeks only self-preservation, so he prevents history from changing. That's why Dialga wants me gone. Because I tried to change history. <laughs> well, it's the present for Apollo. Wait, no, I mean Silas. <laughs> Ain't that just how it is? You get so attached to your partner. I mean, <laughs> I, it's not like I'm not guilty of that myself. I keep calling Sh Silas Shane because I'm a fool. He's not even the right species. But they don't- they both begin with S, so that's probably on me. Because I tried to stop the planet's paralysis. Because I traveled back in time to your world from this place. Your future. What? Grovile, you're saying that you came back to our world so you could prevent the planet's paralysis? But that's completely the opposite of what we were told. Grovile, you came back to our world to paralyze the planet, didn't you? And Grovile... Weren't you the one stealing the t t time gears? You've got to be joking. I was collecting the time gears because they were needed for preventing the planet's paralysis. I needed to take them to the Temporal Tower and put them in place. That would have reversed the collapse of Temporal Tower, which, is fully under which was fully underway in your time. 
While it's true that removing a time gear from a specific place causes time to stop in that area, that's only temporary. After the time gears are put into Temporal Tower, time would have been fully restored to normal everywhere. Uh, but then what about all the things Dusk Noir said about you? Like how he said you were a wanted outlaw in the future. Well, I mean, he's working for Dialga, and Dialga wants him done. I guess you could say that Dialga is like the ruling government of this nightmare world. <laughs> so kind of, kind of outlaw. And how you escaped from the future, then fled to our world in the past. So you're claiming all that was just a bunch of lies? Why would you believe Dusk Noah at this point? He is a bastard. <laughs> he grabbed you from your happy home. He wasn't even just like, okay with your world going to paralysis. He was just like, oh, I'm gonna take you two along with me. Yoink. So you can die for some reason. What else could it be? Because Dusk Noir really is an ancient, an ancient, an agent sent from this future by Primal Dialga to get rid of me. What? Dusk Noir was an agent sent to get rid of you? That's right. I've said that Primal Dialga will try to thwart any attempt to alter the course of history. That's why when I learned that I... That's why when he learned that I traveled through time, he sent Dusk Noir after me. The great Dusk Noir? It can't be. He literally ordered your death. Silas, please. It's hard for you to believe, I know. I can't believe it at all. You're saying all this is about the great Dusk Noir? I don't understand why Dusk Noir is acting the, the, this way here, but, but I respect it, Dusk Noir. I can't, I can't believe you. It is hard to accept, but. Looking back over what we've been through in this future world, what Grovile said is reasonable. It makes perfect sense. And Silas knows that. Silas knows deep down that what Grovile says is true. But knowing that makes it much harder to accept. But... Hey, where are you going? I'm going to see Dusk Noir. What? I want to see Dusk Noir. I'm going to find out if what you said is true or not. What's the point of that? You'll only be making it easier for them to get rid of you. You don't stand a chance against them. Then, what am I supposed to do? What are you supposed to do? Didn't you wonder this earlier? And you decided that you would decide for yourself? You insisted that because you don't know what to believe. You wouldn't accept words for their face value. And you'd think for yourself. <laughs> it's times like this. When things are tough that you have to be strong. Think for yourself, then act as you deem right. Grovile, what are you going to do now? This song. I'm hearing that motif again that was playing in the, the partner music box section. This song is so good! I love mystery dungeon music! The motifs, they keep playing, and I love them, man! <laughs> love them! I'm going back to the past again, to stop the planet's paralysis. To do that, I need to find Celebi. Ce Celebi? That's right. You can come with me or not, it's your choice. You two decide on your own course of action. I'm off. Uh, I don't know what I should believe either, but there is one thing I can say with certainty. In this future world of darkness, the planet is paralyzed. Hey, did you find what the music box is? What OST? No, I don't know what number it is or what it's called. Oh, that really makes me wish that so many more, like, game OSTs uploaded to YouTube were, like, in chronological order. Then again, because, like, YouTube playlists a lot of the time just default to, like, alphabetical, it seems, and that just messes with the flow. In the paralysis of the planet, it happened back in our world. That's why, to stop that from happening, we have to get back to the past. We have to get back. Back to our world! 
Neon. Yes, I know. What Grovile said... Grovile is right. Things are very tough now. That's why we have to be strong. I'm alright now. Let's go. Let's catch up to Grovile. Neon? We have to... We have to get back! Back to our own world! It might be a rescue team one. No, no. This one is explorers, definitely. That was an explorer track. Because <laughs> that's way too good of a song for them to just leave in, the, like, the back of, like, <laughs> somewhere hidden within the world of rescue team. Uh, while you jam out to just glorious music with motifs up the wazoo, that's another reason why it has to be explorers. It uses a motif from a previous song. So unless they just made a motif, a series of songs with the same motif for Rescue Team, <laughs> and it just never came up majorly, <laughs> then I don't know. But yeah, make sure to drink your tea and stay hydrated, everybody. And make sure to kill God. I'm definitely going to search for that music box after stream. If I remember, because memory is shit. <sighs> Master Dialga, the stage has been set for the capture of the traitors. When the time comes, it may be necessary for us to beg for your help, Master Dialga. <sighs> As you wish. By your leave, we shall proceed. So it's all gonna go to hell. What? What was that? Strange sensation. I've had that strange sensation before. Where... where are we? This is Dusk Forest. Its name comes from the dark fog that perpetually shrouds it. Deep in this forest, we should find Celebi. Hey, Grovile? You mentioned the name before, but... who is Celebi? Celebi is the legendary time travel Pokémon. She has the ability to cross time, but, well, she's a little odd. But anyway, Celebi's ability enabled me to go to the past once before. So if we find Celebi, can we return to our world? Yes, you can go back, but Celebi is the Pokemon that sent me to the past. That means Celebi has lent her support to reshaping history. Wait, are you saying that Celebi's in trouble too? That's right. Primal Dialga is also targeting Celebi, so there's no time to waste. Get ready soon. We have to find Celebi. Uh, too bad we can't talk while here. Well, let's see. First things first, we need to check our storage. And probably annihilate a lot of things. Because we have so much, so much thing. Yep, we're up to here. The music has been getting so utterly grand. I love it. And our box is so ungodly full, it'll never be empty again. Well, first things first, time to go on a destruction spree. For some reason, my brain just reminded me of, like... I don't even know. I think it's from... What was it called? It was from a game. I'm, I'm the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. Yeah! That's all I remember. I wonder if I can throw you in. Damn it. I'm the milkman. My milk is delicious. Special delivery today. Well, first thing first, I should probably... Bibbidi bee. I already killed a god. What's next? The Pokemon Devil? Who knows? Honestly, at this point, maybe. <laughs> Honestly, the things that I've heard of, like, the future game's enemies, maybe. Just maybe we have Super Demon Devil up ahead. I just, I don't know. I just gotta... 
just decide on various things to br bring out and annihilate so that we can just make sure that everything's good. This is what I get for having bad inventory management. I should have recycled more when I was alive. But yeah, I just love the music in these games. Maybe not this track as much. It's kind of basic, but it has that, still, that mystery dungeon flavor to it with the instruments. So it's kind of nice, still. But... Man, the, the soundtrack overall throughout this series is so good. Like, if there's one thing you can rely on when it comes to, like, these games, it's the soundtrack. These are so good. And we shall store more of our things, because we can. We do what we want, because we can. How did we get an HM? I know it's probably not actually an HM, but higgledy piggledy diggledy da. That that thing frickin' haunted me back in the olden days. Now let's see, what was I gonna bring out? I think I was going to uh oh yeah. More of the Max Elixir. I want more Max Elixir. Just one more just in case. Oh, and then we should save so that nightmares don't kill us all. You ever gonna eat the joy seed? I don't know. I I suffer from the RPG thing of this is rare. I can never use it, and then I never use it. I should save this for the future. And then then I just never use it. Well, Garantina is probably the closest to the Pokemon Devil. There's that. <laughs> for some reason, my brain just went Pokemon Legends Arceus, but as a mystery dungeon game. So it's like Garantina is like. A big bad. If we don't hurry, the Sableye will catch us. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Well, I'm ready. Are you all ready? Yes. <laughs> it's only one level. Exactly! What if I come upon in the few far future? It's hard to level up. You seem to finally be prepared. Let's go, then. We'll find Celebi and return to the past. Let's go. Wait, don't go! What is it? If the three of us do return to our world, Grovile, will you steal the time gears like you did before? Well, yes, I will. Otherwise, the planet's paralysis can't be stopped. But I... Grovile, I'm not convinced yet. I don't completely trust you yet. I'm only cooperating with you because I want to return to our world. If we do return, Grovile... I'll investigate if you really were stealing those time gears to prevent the planet's paralysis. Grovile, if I decide that you're wrong for stealing the time gears, I'm going to stop you, Grovile! <sighs> Do as you will, but keep this in mind. What's important now is getting ourselves safely back to your world. So for the time being, focus on getting back home. Let's go. I feel it. I'm sensing something strange. Huh? What's the matter, Neon? I just know it. I felt something like this before. It was... That's it! It was when... Huh? What's wrong, Neon? What's this weird sensation? I don't know why I'm feeling this way. I... Wait a second, I know this place. I thought so. This is similar to the sensation I had back then. Hey, what are you doing? Hurry! We have to hurry, Neon. No introspection. We only go. <laughs> well, it's only one guy. We can murder him. Really, I don't need to worry too much about, like, items. Too, too much. Well, this is a bop. Yeah, kind of foresty, adventurousy. Centristy. Son of a bitch! Well, great. This is very interesting music.
Ah, shit, he's fighting a ghost. Luckily, he's moving. So hopefully, that ghost will come into range and he'll... Yeah, good, he'll attack him. The plot thickens. It's been thickening for a while. It's a full-on pudding. This is some interesting music. I like it. Once again, just like... That motherfucker. What's with all these Pokemon stealing my bags? I do find it funny that, like, the most recurring item, or, like, trap I've run into is the warp tiles. That and trip tiles. Why do the trap trippity trips even happen? I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Well, that's quite rude. You're double rude. Now die. The trick makes you think of Zelda music. I don't think it makes me think of Zelda music personally, but I could see it. Well, actually, maybe. Some of the instrumentation does kind of feel familiar in that way. <laughs> maybe it could just be that I've played so much Mystery Dungeon that I'm just like, yeah, this is Mystery Dungeon to me. Then again, my brain is like very hyper-focused on Mystery Dungeon a lot of the time now, so who knows. Also, uh, Grovile is a beefy boy. He is literally over 10 levels higher than us, and yet we're kind of similar in terms of health, which is amusing. Hey, it's a Gabite, and he's doing a decent amount of damage. And he has a decent amount of health, oh god. Happily. At least the game is throwing a ton of apples at us. Well, that's not good at all. I'll take care of this ghost. Die. At least the ghosts aren't super mean. Huh. Brick tough moment. I don't even know if my guy has brick tough or not. I am not a smart person. I am not. The, I am not a tactical leader, which is hilarious because my first Fire Emblem game was Awakening, where you literally play the role as a tactician. I need to get back to Fire Emblem Fates at some point. I was enjoying the route I was doing. Then again, it could also be that I was just really enjoying playing more Fire Emblem and really liked ba 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 experiencing. Awakening so much that I'm like, yeah, more Fire Emblem. Either I'm a basic bitch, or it was a good game. Piercy, what are you again? Are you the one? Yep, warps to the stairway. Maybe I should keep a Piercy on me in the future so I can escape dangerous situations. Why are there so many reset tiles? Are you trying to tell me something, game? Is nightmares going to come? We shall annihilate you, for your hell. What? Fine then, die. <laughs> Two moves used against you and you're like, Haha, you missed. Well then, die. You will suffer a death. <laughs> die 1,000 deaths. And now I've been given poison. I've been given a disease. I did not consent to this medical trial. Be gone. Is it just mirrors like poison toned down compared to rescue team? How dare you try and tackle me, you stupid little jump bluff. How dare you heal yourself of my blood, you little jump bluff. Die! My blood is my blood. And it's also very poisonous right now, probably. I forget, what's the difference between poisonous and venomous? Poison is when you bite. Venom is when they bite. Yes. Knowledge is returning to me. You've been playing Fire Emblem Fates? Yeah, that's the best game in the franchise. I'll have to judge it myself because I really liked Awakening. Awakening was a lot of fun. And by return to playing Fates, like, uh, 
I last played it, I think, in, like, early December? I got distracted. By, like, everything. But yeah, I was really enjoying Fates, what I was playing. My planned route through it was... Ah, son of a bitch. But yeah, my planned route through Fates was to play Birthright, which people said was the, uh, white bread basic route. Then Conquest was the one that did things, like, different and, like, tried different things and was more combat and difficulty-based. And then there's the Drug Fest fanfic that was, like, the third route DLC. And I'm saving that for last. I held the button, and then we went flying. But I'll definitely need to go back to it. Quite fun. How dare you slow me? Why does cotton slow me? Huh. Interesting. Dig is an interesting move. Well, I mean, there's items here. How dare you dragon claw me? I didn't consent to that. You son of a bitch. You please die. Not sure if I'll ever use a cherry berry. I don't think I've used any other berry besides Orin and, like, maybe that one that increased your health total that one time in Rescue Team. I hardly ever use berries. Again, I'm six? Well, there's four now. We already know where the exit is, so I guess it doesn't hurt to poke around a little bit. None of us are poisoned, the sandstorm subsided. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Now we got half the items, we can leave. Yeah, Birthright is like easing back into Fire Emblems if you played Awakening before. Conquest is very combat influenced, and you only gain experience during the chapters. Ooh. Is this. is this where Celebi's supposed to be? And that's right. It was around here that I met her the last time. But if Primal Dialga knows of this place, Celebi will have fled from here. If this place isn't known to our pursuers, however, then Celebi should still be here. Hello? Celebi! It's me, Grovile! Reveal yourself, if you're here! She's not coming out. Did she get frightened off by Primal Dialga? What if... what if she's been captured by Primal Dialga? Captured? Wah! Where'd that voice come from? But now, I don't hear anything. That voice, was I just hearing things? <laughs> you didn't imagine it. Me captured? How insulting. Captured? Impossible, that's for sure. Tee. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the Celebi is shiny in this game. I wonder why they decided to do that. It's, I, I like the touch. It would actually be kind of interesting if, like, all, like, legendaries in the... Mystery Dungeon Universe was shiny, just to kind of set them apart. Although that would then kind of imply that... I don't know. What is shiny Pokemon in the Mystery Dungeon Universe? It's been too long, my dear Grovile. Yes, it has been a while, Celebi. What? This tiny thing is Celebi? Now that's just downright rude. How, in how inappropriate to poke fun at my petite proportions. Alliteration! Uh, I'm sorry. I heard you have the ability to cross time, so I expected you to maybe be some awe-inspiring Pokemon. How uncouth! Never judge someone by their appearance. But I forgive you. After all, you must find me cuter and more special than you imagined. Tee-hee! <laughs> um, yes. Celebi, I need your help again. I know. Seeing you back here, my dear Grovile, tells me everything I need to know. You're back because you failed in your mission in the past, yes? Uh, yes, it's true. 
I hope you manage this time. I've quite had enough of this. Living in this dark and dreary world is so depressing. Sorry, no time to chat. The Sableye are tracking us. If we don't leave soon, we'll have been we'll have brought trouble to you. Tee, <laughs> it's quite fine. There's no need to be worried. Let those Sableye come. Oh, they're of no concern to me. Besides, if you would be so kind as to prevent the plant's paralysis, we'll finally be spared the agony of this world of darkness. My dear Grovile, I will devote my whole life to achieve that end. I kind of like that she constantly calls him my dear Grovile. It's very sweet. Makes it unique, yes. Hello, hello as well. We are once again enjoying the grandness of Mystery Dungeon and it's great music. Oh wait, this music. This is the, this is the, ba ba ba. The questionnaire. The, the personality quiz. This is the personality quiz music. That's, that's sweet. That brings a smile to my face. Revelations is a combination of both. Uh, back to Fire Emblem Fates. Allow you to level grind, birthright mechanics, and seizing of maps along with other conditions. Conquest mechanics. That's actually pretty cool. That is very nice. Selby just started uh, steering at Rialu evilly. <laughs> Selby has the hots for Grovile. Maybe not hots, but she definitely seems like... There's something going on. There's chemistry here. There's a chemical reaction. All right. Where is the passage of time? It's ready. It's nearby. The passage of time is on a plateau above this forest. That's good. Can you guide us? Yes. Are all three of you taking the passage of time? Yeah, that's right. Oh, that... What's this? Your friend! What? What? No. That can't be. Is something the matter, Celebi? No, it's nothing. It was not nothing. You've, you did you think it's something up in that pink head of yours? Y y your onion? Well then, shall we? After the passage of time. Salad. I hate it when everyone's just like, hmm, thing, and then they don't elaborate. Hey, Grovile. So what's the passage of time? The passage of time is a portal that Celebi uses to travel through time. It's a secret corridor that spans dimensions. For short trips, I can travel through time all by myself, but for big trips that span many generations, I have to use the passage of time. Ah, so that's where... Ah, so if we were to go through the passage of time... Yes, you will be able to return to your time. Just don't stare into it too long or you'll start to hear drums. Oh, I see it! Ah, we have to go through another dungeon. We're about to get to the best part of the game, in my opinion. Ooh, boy! I always thought they were dating. Maybe. <laughs> Considering how she, like, treated us and then always my dear Grovile. There's something going on. <laughs> Celebi is revealing secrets. More like realizing there's a secret and then not spilling. She made it a secret. <laughs> she literally invented a secret right in front of us. There's the entrance that leads up to the plateau. The passage of time is way up there. Good. We'll leave as soon as we're ready. This music's pretty nice. What would you like to do? I would like to kill God. Bum, bum. This music is so good, I love it. It's definitely interesting. It seems more dungeon music than anything, but maybe it'll transition to being dungeon music, actually. We can return to the past by going through the passage of time. We're almost there. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. Hi, hi. So, listen. Uh, this is just a little secret. Did you know that Grovile is really impatient and hasty? I know that he wants to hurry, but I do wish he would slow down a little. It would sure make me happier if he did. Ah. Uh. You're kind of bouncing around yourself, Celebi. You're like, come on, let's get you out of here. Man, I wish Grovile would stay here and bone me for a while. <laughs> Wrong series for God Slaying. Ah, it's, whenever there's a god, there's God Slaying to do. I want to spend as much time as I can with him. Uh, oh, uh, that's not how I meant it. Not at all. I don't have any special feelings for him or anything. Whatever you say, Secret Keeper. You all ready? Yes. Let's go. Good. 
We're leaving. We must make our way to the passage of time. Let's go. <laughs> it's canon now. Like, before you could maybe argue, oh, she's just that way. But with that, nah. There's something very much going on in there. What? Oh, Jesus Christ, it's fucking Stolex! Of course you missed. God dang it. What the hell? Why did like five million turns pass? Did we get slowed? That's weird. Oh, hello. Welcome to hell. Ah, good job. You murdered him rightfully. Do, do. Why there's all these ground types in my forest? I kind of like that we actually have, like, Grovile and Celebi with us. That's the thing. Why wouldn't Celebi come with Grovile to the past? To be like, hey, I'm a legendary. Things are screwed. Then again, it's... Because on the one hand... It's a Leafeon! Yeah! Time to murder you. But you're like... Well, that's not nice at all. But yeah, pop, pop, pop. Back to thought. My question would be... What would the reasonable thing be? Like, because if you need to go back into the past to change things... Like, I don't know. I guess it could also be that... I don't know. Because it just feels like Selby could have gone with him. To be like, hey, I'm a legendary. I kind of have stuff to do with time. Time's being screwed with this evil's about. But maybe, who knows. <laughs> Nothing happened. But nobody came. It's just like, surely. Ah, who knows? It could be that maybe Grovile wanted to do it alone. Could be that maybe they were worried about things. But it's still, and like, ah, who knows? It's also possible that not too many Pokemon know no about, like, legendaries and stuff, so even if Celebi went with them, with him, he wouldn't be able to be like, hey, trust us. We want to temporarily wreck the world. To save the world, you dig? Seeing as uh, Celebi is the guardian of time and we're heading to space where time fluctuate, it makes sense that, tur uh, that turn speed fluctuates too. Oh, that's what's happening! Neat little, I didn't notice that. I'm a fool. <laughs> Squeal, Leafeon proceeds to murder. Exactly. That's basically how it went. It's in, uh, order, in order to keep time stable, Selby has to stay put. Maybe. It could be that maybe if she leaves the time period, she can't come back to it to make, like... Keep track of that quote unquote present, maybe? Could be many things. Goodbye, Leafeon. Why is everything else like ground type and rock type, and then there's the soul Leafeon? So weird. She's essentially acting as Grovile's anchor in time, so he doesn't get erased? Maybe. It could also be that maybe she needs to, because, uh... Maybe she needs to keep track of, like, the... One second. <laughs> Excuse me. It must be the sandstorm. It's getting to me. But, uh... It could be that maybe... She needs to keep an eye on the passage of time to make sure that the Sableye, Dusk Noir, and Primal Dialga don't find it, maybe? Because it seems to be like a physical place in the world rather than like a thing that she can close and open. Who knows? 
How did I get here? Who knows? YouTube is weird. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Zoroa Pog. Yep. Thanks to the expanded Sky ROM hack. Oh, hey, thank you, Celebi. Expanded Sky is a fun ROM hack that just, like, adds a bunch of new starters. I highly recommend it. It seems fun. That seems fun. I've been playing it. <laughs> There's a link to it in the... Quit! Leave the boy alone! There's a link to the Expanded Sky ROM hack in the description of all the YouTube streams and videos of this year. Because I like it. Uh, where we're destiny decreed. Also, I just just now noticed the pa the palette of the walls changed again. Another leafy on to murder. Ah, we were one away from nice damage. Well, we're gonna have to nice damage again. Ah, we did nice damage. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I have to use up all of my moves to kill these guys. They're so beefy. Why are they sending all these beefy hunks to murder me? Oh. Thank you, Celebi. I like that. The AI is also kind of intelligent. Because they're able to go, haha, you are afflicted, let me help you. But I like the music here as well. Sometimes the music just passes over me, and then I'll just like have a moment of like <gasps> music. Why again? Why is there so many Steeluxes in this forest? Well, that's just mean. We have learned what Neon's type is. Well, obviously, it's dark type. I mean, I'm a Zorua here. <laughs> Someone draw a buff Leafy on. I would not be opposed to that. Also, I think I misread, like, uh, the weather thing. I thought, like, Jesus Christ, why is the weather doing so much? It's because there's four people in my team now, and I only ever have two. So it needs to be like, damages them, damages them, damages them. Has to go down a whole checklist. Another Leafeon. How dare. Jesus Christ. That's kind of plant-on-plant -plant violence there. I can't believe Grovile is a vampire plant. Hello, Agron. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm running low on health. Die. Good job, Silas. You murdered that Agron, but good. Seriously, again. And once again, I am reminded of my, like, idea that, like, whenever we, like, kill these Pokemon, since time doesn't flow, their bodies just stay there. Not rotting, not decomposing. And I'm just gonna throw rocks at you. I'm gonna throw a rock at you! I'm gonna throw a rock at you! How do you think of that? Rock time! I mean, I use a Gengar to represent me literally everywhere, but here in video games. <laughs> Funnily about that, in the past few weeks, my brain was like, Hey, make a Pokesona! And now I've made a peculiar Sylveon as my tentative Pokesona. I've drawn them a few times and posted art of them to my various social medias. Because brain is just like, hey, do that! And I need to embrace spontaneity or I'll never do anything. <laughs> Funnily, I was originally planning, because like uh, it took me a while to get around to playing Explorers of Sky on stream, but originally I was planning to play the, like, the normal version and have it be Eevee Hero Rialu partner, and then I learned of this ROM hack, and figured like, oh, it adds Sylveon as an evolution to Eevee. I can do that. That'd be cool. And then I saw that uh, 
blah, 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 that Zoroa was an option. I'm just like, actually, let's do something different so that it's not like a half repeat of Rescue Team. Actually have a difference in partners going on. Where are your ribbons, Neon? Sylveon have ribbons. Funnily you speak of that, because a brain is also saying, Hey, you should make a, a PNG tuba avatar for your Pokesona. So who knows, maybe you'll do that eventually. <laughs> uh, brain has a million ideas and the body is weak. Oh, I see it now. There it is. That's kind of cool. Energy arches leading to like an actual doorway passage. Also, I like you're encouraging your friend to murder. <laughs> We're here in the murder realm. We have to kill people. Is that the passage of time? That's right. That's the passage of time. Yes, Silas, it's the passage of time. The time that is passage. I went through that to go to the past. Celebi, only you can open the passage of time. Do your thing. Sure. Stop there. That will do. What? That voice! It can't be! Hello to you all. It's been a while. How'd he get in front of us? D Dusknor! Dusknor! Your scurrying carried you far. But sad to say, that's all over now. <laughs> and of course there's a frickin' army. <gasps> But in this frozen in time area, I like to think you just permanently put people to sleep. You sh yeah, that that would be disturbing. Like if you go to sleep, your heart like slows down too much that it won't wake you up again or something. The sable eye too. Huh? That's crafty, Dusk Noir. You allowed us to roam free, but you kept your eyes on us the whole time, so you could capture Celebi as well as us. What? So you mean we were? Followed the whole time? I didn't see this coming. It's all my fault, Celebi. Oh, apologies don't suit your style, my dear Grovile. And do you honestly think that I can be caught? <laughs> Everyone, are you ready to fight? What? Of course! We're going to power our way through. We'll push them aside, then dive into the passage of time. Got it! Ha. <laughs> So you'll resist. Spare yourself the effort. You have no chance of succeeding. We won't know for sure. Until we try! Dusknoir! You and me! Now! Grovile. Are you really such a fool to think that I'd come alone? What? Now, Master Dialga! Wah! It turned pitch black! Well, that's not good at all. Oh, that's some art there! It's some art! I love this. Ah! That... that's... Grovile, what is it? What is that? That's... Primal... Dialga. What? That is? That's Primal Dialga? What's wrong, Grovile? Where's your bravado now? Gah. My dear Grovile? Uh, this is it for us. What? Why? Aren't we going to fight? It's hopeless. Dust Noir on his own is one thing. But we don't stand a chance against Dialga. You two have kept up so well. I'm sorry to let you down. This is where it ends. But... I surrender, Dusk Noir. Do with me. As you will. M my dear Grovile. What's the matter, Grovile? It's not like you to give up so easily. Yes, I am giving up. But hope is still alive. Celebi, you remember. That last time... When I traveled back in time to prevent the planet's paralysis, I wasn't alone. There was another. What? Grovile, you didn't come to our world alone? That's right. I had a partner. We headed to the past together. But when we were going through the passage of time, we had trouble. 
We became separated. My partner should still be back in the world of the past. Even if I am eliminated, my partner will see our mission through to the end. My partner will prevent the planet's paralysis. I think I can see where this is going. The foreshadowing is hitting me kind of hard here, game. And you are hurting my soul, the emotional damage that's going to happen. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> so you claim someone went to the past with you. Incidentally, what's the name of your partner? Go on. Say the name. Why ask such a thing? Can't tell me. No, that's not true. My partner's name is Neon! Oh, boy! My best friend. What? What? Grovile! Did you say Neon? Well, this is Neon right here! What? You're... Neon. No. It can't be. It isn't. The Neon I know isn't a Pokemon. The Neon that I know is a human. What? <laughs> Precisely. My good fellow, Grovile, that is unmistakably your friend, Neon. What? That Pokemon you see was once a human. What? Master Dialga had given me a mission. It was to get rid of you, Grovile, and Neon, because you fled to the past. I traveled through time in pursuit of you both. In the past, I gathered intelligence that might help me find you. This music? This music? And at one point, I met Team Lost Light. Hello there. You're from the Guild, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, we're Team Lost Light. We work at the Guild. It's great to meet you. But at that point, I suspected nothing. My partner here just happened to see it in a dream. Excuse me? A dream, you say? By dream, what do you mean? When they mentioned the dimensional scream, I was skeptical at first. But then an idea began to take shape in my mind. And... Yes, with the memory of a name. And the memory of being a human before that. I beg your pardon? Human? So a former human, with no memories. A human that possessed the dimensional scream. I became convinced then. You are... You said that you know your name, at least. And that name would be... Neon told the name to me. Ah, I see. Neon. Does the name many mean anything to you? No. It means nothing to me, unfortunately. Uh, what? Did I just see the faintest... Did Dusknoir just hide the faintest of smiles? When I learned this, it felt personal. Because when I first picked Trico the first time I played Pokemon. Funnily, my first rescue team partner was Trico as well. So that kind of matches up. Gen 3 was my first. Technically, my first was both Gen 1 and Gen 2. But it was, I think, before, just before Generation 4 came out. Or did I imagine that? There was no doubt... This Neon was the very one that I had been seeking. So that Neon developed amnesia and was transformed into a Pokemon, which must be because of the accident during your time travel. Well, Neon's memory loss was a lucky stroke for me. After all... Your partner failed to recognize who I am. It was quite easy to win over your partner's trust. And it was also easy to drag them into the future when the time came. Uh, Dusknor really was lying. Which left you, Grovile, the last part of the job to finish. I was a human from the future? 
And I was Groval's partner on a mission to prevent the planet's paralysis? And that's how I ended up in Silas's world? Uh, Grovile and Neon, with the both of you here, everything will end when we finally dispose of you. Uh, that will finally put an end to Grovile's glamour of hope. Uh, everything ends. Everything ends for you. <laughs> oh, I am lightheaded there. I'm going to drink some tea to regain my, my brain. Bah. Uh, Dusknor. No. Dusknor. Ah, have you finally come to terms with your fates? Grovile. Neon. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end for you. Uh, hey, Neon. Grovile! You can't give up! Gah. You say not to give up, but what can we possibly do in this blick situation? We have to think! I know. Celebi! Can your time travel ability transport us just a short distance into the passage of time? It won't be easy if Dialga here. Dialga is the temporal Pokemon. It controls time itself! Even if I can make us travel in time, you'll have no trouble exposing it! It just has to work for an instant! Please! Attack! <laughs> time tra- time to travel! <laughs> Did they not hear us talk? Best plot twist that I never saw coming when I played for the first time. Same. I would never, never in a million years would I have guessed that. Especially because they kind of left, like, they didn't tell you. Like, if they let you know that, like, Grovile had a partner earlier on, maybe. But saving that for just then, pinnacle. They v v vanished? Master Dialga. Master Dialga. Oh, more awesome art. Yes, love it. Well, that's some nice cleavage there, Dialga. Oh, that's cool. Our time traveling path has been shattered. There they are. We almost made it to the passage of time. Dive in now, you can make it. Now into the passage of time. W what about you, Celebi? Don't fret over me. I told you I can't be caught. Stop the planet's paralysis. Change history. Thanks. Thank you, Celebi. You're not getting away! Oh, did she move the passage? Gah. If only that exploded. Wah! Second time we've seen that, still cool. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, please! Hell is opening up! Chapter 16, A New Dawn. Oh, hey, we're back here! This... this is... Uh... What? Neon, where? Isn't this where I met you, Neon? It's like that beach, so that means... could it be... No, it is! We're... in the past! We made it back to our world! You know it'd be, like, utterly devastating if they sent us back too far? And so it's basically beginning Grovile's, like, journey again? Except this time we're helping them steal the time gears. And we have to fight, like, Wigglytuff's guild and the other, like, people like, We don't want to fight you, but we want to save the world! That would be devastating. Now that would be a fanfic to read, unless- UNLESS THEY HAVE THE BALLS TO DO IT! I doubt they do, but if they did! We made it back to our world! <laughs> yes! We made it, Neon! Uh, uh, hey, Grovile! Look! We made it home! 
Back to our world! So we did it? We made it through. Back to this world? Yes! This is where I met Neon. Let me... Let's see. I think it was right here. This is where I found Neon out cold. So that's what happened. That trip through time sent me into Eastern Forest. And Neon and I both reached your world far away from each other. Oh, that's right. There's a lot I don't understand, like the whole concept of time travel. Will you please explain it to us? But this isn't really the place to talk, so... Let's go to Wigglytuff's guild and talk there. He is still a wanted criminal. <laughs> Before we went to the future, we trained there and roomed there. It'll be the perfect place. Okay, let's go to Wigglytuff's guild. Hold on. Will I be received if I go to the guild? After all, I'm a wanted outlaw in this world. If I went to your guild, won't everyone be shocked? Don't you think they'd try to capture me? Uh, come to think of it, you're right. What to do? Oh, I know! There's a good place. But it will involve going through Treasure Town. It shouldn't be a problem if we lie low and sneak through. Lead the way. Okay? It's this way. Ah, time paradoxes. As manipulator of chaos control myself, it can get really jumbled up. The concept of time travel, that is. Indeed. <laughs> Don't it. But that's what makes them fun. If you just, like, go all in on them. It's like, that doesn't make sense. It's a time paradox. They're not meant to make sense. Wait, there's a message from the Exploration Team Federation. Oh, special episode. Here comes Team Charm has been unlocked. To play special episode, select it from the episode menu. We'll definitely need to play today's Eek, or whatever it's called, the Sunflora special episode next time. If you'd like to play the special episode, save your adventure. Sure thing. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes. For a moment there, I thought the Exploration Federation was going to give us more room in our bag, even though we're still missing. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Sharkpedo Bluff. I know about this. This cliff is known as Sharkpedo Bluff. Sharpedo Bluff? Why did I say it like I was a villain, mocking you? Yes, I think the name comes from the fact that the cliff itself is shaped like a Pokemon named Sharpedo. As far as I can tell, nothing seems out of the ordinary. Silas, why do you have a secret base? It's down here. I lived here before I joined the guild. You own Sharkpedo Bluff? Why do you have pl 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 What's the word? Prime real estate! Go ahead. Go in. My, Silas is bringing me home with him, is he? And it's a room with a view! This is an awesome place! Why'd you never bring me here, Silas? This is cool! I see. This is a hollow chamber in the face of the cliff. Ah, <sighs> I'm glad no one's wrecked this place. That's proof for how little notice this place attracts. It may be better if we stay here for the time being. Agreed. Silas is a villain who was stopped by you. That would be amusing. But it wouldn't make sense, because we're from the future. He's from the past. Unless more time paradoxes happen. But Neon... I never expected you to be that very same Neon. Grovile, can you tell us more about that? Yes, Neon and I, we were jointly investigating the planet's paralysis. How is, how come there's like no other humans in the future but me? <gasps> or Apollo's home, if we're coming off my save. <laughs> it is the partner's home. But that is kind of sad that the partner lived alone, apparently. Even though prime real estate. It's kind of sad that he never, like, told us about it before. A Pokemon and a human paired together? Yeah. And Neon had, or has, a special ability like no other. We relied on that special ability to investigate the planet's paralysis. It played a vital part. By special ability, you mean the dimensional scream, don't you? Exactly. But the dimensional scream has a drawback. The dimensional scream requires the presence of a trusted Pokemon partner. Without that partner, the ability cannot be triggered. Huh, I wonder why. Also, good job, Silas. You're my trusted Pokemon partner. 
a trusted partner. And that's why we work together. The dimensional scream is set off by triggers tied to places where the time gears are hidden. Could it be that instead, like, you came to that conclusion because y when, well, I guess when we were paired together, we were investigating the time gears, so we were using the ability to find time gear stuff, whereas with Silas and I, we mostly used it to find, like, well, like, kind of, it was, it, there was a lot of time gear stuff, but at the same time, we used it to find Azuril and beat up the Drowsy. We used it to find the secrets of Waterfall Cave, so it can't just be time gears. Maybe all the humans perish? Just a thought, nothing else. It's just weird, because that's the far future, and there's a human there, which kind of implies that we haven't been born yet, so... Who knows? It could also be that, like, the same power that brought the rescue team human to the Pokemon world brought this human to the Pokemon world because they had the dimensional scream and could stop the planet's paralysis? Who knows? Arceus works in strange ways, and he probably also has multiple personalities, what with his thousands of arms that are also him. We needed to find out where the time gears were in the past. We need the dimensional scream to accomplish that. Wait a second. You said that there has to be a trusted partner nearby for the dimensional scream to work. But the dimensional scream was being triggered not long after we met. Your point? Doesn't that show you how much you two trusted each other from the start? Uh, when you put it like that, it's a little embarrassing. In addition, Neon developed amnesia. Upon meeting you, Silas, your partner had someone to turn to. Perhaps Neon grew to trust you very quickly because of that. Oh, there's another thing I don't understand. Is the dimensional scream triggered in response to only time gears? Right. The opposite is also true. The dimensional scream is not triggered in places that aren't connected to time gears. Huh, really? That's not how I remember it. Listen, Neon, do you remember that time we went off near Drowsy? Exactly, that's what I was saying. Arceus left me behind in the past after fighting Volo. <laughs> He would do that. Then again, I, I forget it. I never got that far into the post game. I beat Volo, but I never went and fought Arceus. I'll need to rectify that at some point. Who knows? Maybe it's just like your character is just like, I have unfinished business. And it's kind of implied that maybe he'll take you back home once everything is finished. Good point. Not to mention, you don't turn into a Pokemon until you take the passage of, of time for the first time. Yep. So there's some shenanigans going on. Who knows? Maybe Palkia drew us into the past to help calm down Dialga. Granted, it's also possible that Palkia will have post-game content and will be, like, uh, a bitch about things. Who knows? I've never played the post-game of this, and it's been five billion years, so my memory is dick. I hardly remember things. I only remember vague things. Do you remember that time we went off near Drowsy? And during our first exploration. And there were other times, too. We went to places that seemed to have nothing to do with time gears, but even in places that the dimensional scream, like that, the dimensional scream was triggered sometimes, wasn't it? Are you sure? But that never happened in the future. The dimensional scream was never triggered by places that had no tie to the time gears whatsoever. Could it be that the dimensional scream was hampered because time was frozen? If the world was paralyzed because of the lack of time, it's possible that only the faintest remnants of time, being the time gears, could trigger anything time-related memory kind of things. That's my theory. <laughs> You'll get a lot, trust me. Oh boy! Well, if that's true, I don't know why it would work differently here. Perhaps things are just different in this world. Perhaps the nature of the dimensional scream is altered in the past. So in the future, the dimensional scream doesn't work in places that have no connection to time gears? Oh, that explains it. Maybe that's why that time, when we were in the future, looking at the frozen water. Your dimensional scream. Use your dimensional scream, Neon. Touch this frozen water. Who knows? You may see something. Oh, I understand. That's true. It's worth a try. Touching that frozen water. It might give us clues about what's happening to us. If we can't dawdle, those Sableye will catch up to us. Let's do this quickly. I need to draw more Rialu. I really should just draw Team Lost Light more in general. Well, Neon, can you see anything?
No, I'm not sensing anything. Maybe I couldn't envision anything that time when we were in the future. Because we were in a place that wasn't tied to any time gears. Maybe that's why my dimensional scream failed to work. Maybe Grovile is right about the future and the past being different. <laughs> yes, it's post-game of Palkia. I never played most of the post-game here. Neat. Well, buckle up. Jordan, we have a hundred floor dungeon, then post-game. Oh, no. Not the hundred floor. The, uh, I'll have to do lots of grinding. The dimensional screen seems to be connected to Neon's desire. Ah. That could possibly be it. Hmm, but could it? Because it was first activated with Azuril and Drowsy. And there wasn't really any desire to, like, protect Azuril or want to know anything about Drowsy, was there? At least with the other things, it kind of makes sense because we were trying to activate it. But sometimes it didn't activate at all. Or different enough to make my dimensional scream ability work differently. Anyway, like I was saying, we were investigating the planet's paralysis. We used the dimensional scream ability to identify the locations of where time gears in your world while we were in the future. That's it. Here. A time gear is here. Well, actually, that would be my voice. Because I'm the one that's seen it. I see. Place the drought stone in Groudon's heart. That lifts the fog. Very well done. Good job, partner. After identifying the locations where the time gears would be in the past, we took the passage of time. That brought us from our world, in your future, to this world. However... Whoa! Whoa! Ah, uh, are you okay? No! Don't let go! Just a little longer. Come on! Hang on! No! I can't... Hold on! You can't grind if you get to reset to level 1. I guess you kind of could, but that would be highly dangerous and you'd run out of lots of apples. No, but your desire to please his partner who wanted to help Azurmiral. That could be it. We encountered turbulence while we were traveling through time. I still think it was Jirachi. <laughs> Jirachi's wish got in the way to bring in two new people to the guild. Thus, Neon and I became separated. For some reason, Neon got amnesia and was turned into a Pokemon. That's probably Jirachi's doing. I can only guess that it had something to do with our accident while traveling in time. I... I came from the future. And not just that, I came with the mission of preventing the planet's paralysis. I don't know. It seems so outlandish. It doesn't feel real somehow. So, Neon, you may not remember any of this, but... You were my closest friend. I worried about you when we were separated. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Your appearance may have changed, and though you have lost your memory, you're still you. And none of this alters the fact that you remain my friend. Oh, Neon, I'm glad to see you again. Now... We have to decide on our course of action. Like I've told you before, I'm going to collect the time gears again. What are you going to do? Um, I'm a little worried about how time stops in the region where its time gear is removed. But you're sure that it will only be temporary? That's right. As soon as the time gears are set in place at Temporal Tower, time will be restored to its normal state everywhere. Well then, we'll go too. We'll go with you, Grovile. Taking the time gear will badly affect the Pokemon that live in that area. But we have to prevent the planet's paralysis. Okay, then. We'll go together. But the hour's late. We're also exhausted from all the running we've done. We should rest up tonight. We'll leave in the morning. This is sweet. I like this. I like this. I like this! I love this! I, I love that this story is so much more in-depth than, like, Rescue Team was. Rescue Team is still absolutely grand, but it's very simple. But at the same time, I think that's perfect. Rescue Team is a simple introduction to be like, hey, you can get attached to these uh, human-like Pokemon. You can become friends with them. You can go on adventures with them. Want to marry them. 
And then this game just umps it up a lot by having a lot more character to these Pokemon. He just goes and goes. Ah, Shane? No, Silas. Brain. My brain. Shoot me. Huh. That made me smile the first time I saw that. He had the conversation. Just have curiosity. When do you think you'll get back to Fire Emblem Fates? No idea. I could maybe set it to, like, do it once a week, maybe. But it, but for also for some reason, my brain, like, is super anxiety about Fire Emblem for some reason. So, like, when it came to Fire Emblem Awakening, I didn't stream it. I uh, recorded it in my own time, which also, it's a little funky because it's a 3DS game, so I have to use a 3DS emulator because 3DS capture cards... <laughs> I even looked into the possibility of using, like, a modding your 3DS to then, like, stream the footage from your 3DS to a computer, but my 3DS was the wrong model for it, so I couldn't even do it if I even wanted to. Meh. So it's like, a lot of things drilling anxiety into my brain, but we might give it another shot. We might, we might, we might. I might give it some stream shots. We'll have to see. But yes, where is Silas? Indeed. Huh? Silas isn't here. Maybe outside? Don't wake me, why don't you? Then again, it is nice, these two getting a moment together. The two partners of me. What's the matter? Can't sleep? Yes, just thinking. Thinking about Dusk Noir? No, that's not it. Sure, finding out we were being deceived came as a real shock. But hearing your story earlier, Grovile, it really drove it home. What Dusk Noir said in the future was really true. And it made me realize that Neon really did come from the future. I was mulling over things like that. Hey, look, Grovile. Sunlight. It's sunrise. More good art. <gasps> This song. It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. Maybe it's because we were in the future for so long. But I didn't think that a sunrise could ever feel so renewing. The sun rises, and then it sets. We take that for granted, and that's only natural. But things we take for granted, they're really the most essential things. And they're precious. All I'd ever known in the future world... Well, all I'd ever known is the future's world of darkness. Upon coming to this world and seeing the sun for the first time, it was staggering. Seeing it, it strengthened my resolve to turn history away from a future of darkness. There is one thing that I wanted to ask you, Silas. It's about that time in the future when we were confronted by Dialga. Frankly, we were in a no-win situation. There was no hope. We shall be rid of you for all time. This is the end for you. <laughs> hey, Neon, Grovile, you can't give up. Yeah, you, have, you say not to give up. What can we possibly do in this bleak situation? We have to think! But when all seemed lost, you refused to give up. Even I'd given up. What compelled you? How did you manage to stay so strong? Well, I wonder too. I, I really don't know. But maybe, maybe it was because Neon stood by me. Neon? Take a look at this. This, what could it be? That's an odd pattern inscribed on it. I've never seen anything like it. This pattern is new to me. This is my relic fragment. It's my personal treasure. I have this dream of one day solving the mystery behind this fragment. But I was such a coward. I couldn't work up the courage to go to the guild and apply as an apprentice. It was then that I met Neon. Neon... Well, okay. I'm putting my faith in you, Neon. 
Yes, I totally believe in you. Yes, Neon was always there to cheer me up. And... Growl! Uh, this is scary. But we need to be brave. And I need to face up to this. There's no giving up now, Neon. It all gave me courage. With Neon, I felt like I could overcome any challenge. That's how I came to feel over time. Maybe that's why I was able to keep going without giving up. All right. I think I understand what you're saying. Yes, Neon has a special quality that makes others feel that way. The same way that I care for Neon as a friend. You, Silas, also feel the same way. Neon is lucky to be blessed with a friend like you. Well, it's morning. We should be leaving soon. Yes. This is sweet. I love this. All right. It's agreed that we will collect all of the time gears. First, we have to decide which time gear we should target. Let's check the wonder map. From here, the underground lake would be the closest, I guess. How about Tree Shroud Forest? That was where I got my first tr time gear the last time. Where's that? Here. It's a little far from here, but there's no one like Yuxi guarding that time gear. Oh, great! If we were to fight someone over a time gear, that would attract attention. But that won't be a concern here, right? Oh, please. Please say we actually go on adventures to collect time gears. I want to bring a, I want to be the bringer of apocalypses. To save the world, we must destroy it temporarily. Exactly. That's it then. That's where we're going. Onward to Tree Shroud Forest. And because we still need to be vanished, we can't we can't recycle. No. Oh. This is it. This is the entrance to Tree Shroud Forest. Oh? What is it, Grovile? The atmosphere somehow feels different than last time. No, I must be imagining it. We'll go on in when you're ready. This is some nice music. This music, man. I love it. I love this game! I love it so much! It's so fluffy! <laughs> Neon has done so much for Silas. He's helped him grow so strong. Ain't that always the way. Although technically Zorwa Neon is a girl, because technically that's how the Bubba da Bubba, the this like a uh, mod placed things. <laughs> then again, I also chose Eevee in Rescue Team. So it just seems to be a recurring theme. Pokemon me is a girl. But I don't mind all that much. I'm secure in myself. Man, I love this music. I should probably dip. Do that. I have a shit ton of apples. Buy some apples! I forget, Neon makes his characters female. I actually do do that a lot. I was gonna say, well, I do it from time to time. But no, basically, yeah, a lot of my characters are girls across all of them. I even went with, like, female Robin and female, uh, what's her name? Corin. It's just what I do. I don't know. Brain is just like, hey, let's do that. And then I'm like, yeah, sure. I don't question Brain. Uh, I should probably take, go through and, like, throw away some things in here so that we can have, like, more room and stuff. I guess I'll take those. We'll probably top things up and can maybe diddly dee. I guess I'll take some Orenberry. I guess we'll get rid of some pure seeds. But, you know, but they're kind of rare, I feel like, so I don't know. Oh, fuck it. We'll take the Joy Seed and we'll eat it just to get it out of the inventory. 
I guess we'll get rid of the Via Seed. And... Oh yeah, we're, that's all the room we got. Yik, 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 yik. Inventory management, it's my favorite! I can't, <laughs> cannot eat, can only give. Just make sure. <laughs> don't <laughs> don't want to get rid of the seed that I'm trying to take with us. And now Brain went and made it an innuendo. Hmm, I wonder if I did this, if it will... Aha, I did! Now goodbye, Geopebbles. I love the music in this game. It's so good. I just love this game so much. And we shall store this reflect. And now we have, like, hardly anything. But we're not really here for gathering things, are we? Oh, we also need to save. Save. Although, come to think of it, back on the topic, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is, like, the first game that I really remember consciously choosing, like, a female character to play as. But that was mostly because I was cheesing the personality quiz to get Eevee. And then from there, it just kind of went back and forth. Like, I chose male Commander Shepard when I played Mass Effect, but that's just because Tally is Bay. Although, in my second playthrough that I did for myself, I am aiming for Garrus. Garrus is also Bay. There should be a time gear at the deepest part of this forest. We're leaving as soon as you're ready. And we're ready. Are you ready, Neon? Yeah. Okay, we're good to go. Let's set off. Tree Shroud Forest. Oh, hey, I can, like, annihilate that guy, I think. Hello. Die. I almost hope that we get, like, confronted by our guildmates so that we fight them. Although, poor Bidoof. He's like, Neon and Silas, what are you doing here? You're back from the past, the future, but... What are you doing? We're stealing the time gears, Badoof. Why would you do that? Because we're evil! Oh yeah, I forgot. Joycey. We can learn a new move. What is it? Agility. Boost the movement speed by one level. All team members! Oh! I think that might just be worth uh, getting rid of Lear. Hmm. <laughs> time to treasure hunt the time. Agility might just be worth. Because I'm not getting rid of... A faint attack. I'm not getting rid of pursuit, and I'm not getting rid of scratch. Then again, mm, no, I can't because I need multiple attack moves to spread my power points around. But if we got rid of Leer, because really lowering their defense doesn't really seem to make much difference, all that much, and doing two attacks in a row could be fantastic, man! D-Link. Goodbye, Lear. Yes. Agility, baby. And now Brain went <laughs> and made that naughty, too. Brain just went. How dare you make him worry? I'll finish thought after we killed this motherfucker. Wait a minute. Did that just say it made him sleepless? I have to know. Message log. Why is that a thing? We're n you're not fighting a Snorlax, you idiot. But yes, back to Cursed Thoughts. <laughs> My... Okay, so we should save that the same. And... Faint Attack will go down there. Yeah, that should work. But yeah, Cursed Thought. What was my Cursed Thought? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> because Brain also ships the hero and partner in all the games, because, yes. Here you go, Silas. Brain went, use agility in the bedroom. Just throw the thought out there. Get it out of my head. Once again, I do not control the rate at which Brain does things. Brain is its own entity right now. <laughs> Brain is my secretary, and they are hurting me. Why is that just a thing? Why is Worry Seed a thing? <gasps> no! Treasure chest! God, we, we haven't been able to go in, like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, we don't care about one item on this floor. But, like... We haven't been able to go to Krogunk Swap Shop in forever. We have so many things. Why'd you do that? <laughs> Why would you do that, you fool? I do like that he has dig like he did in the cutscene. I like that. There's continuity there. Hello, little cherubim. I remember you being an evil nightmare for me. But <gasps> it's a Ralph spy. Gave me a treasure chest for its <laughs> for its efforts. Good for it. Do -do. Do -do 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 I just love the music. Love these games. Even if they have warped my mind in ways. <laughs> What's that, like, meme image I believe in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, like, superiority or whatever it is? But it's usually, like, done with a character. I believe in this character's superiority. Where's the Cult of Mystery Dungeon? Quick, we must, <laughs> we must hasten the extermination of man... Aha. Uh -huh. I do have a pure seed. Or like... I have a... Well, yeah, we should have a pure seed, but let's see if we can, like, just annihilate these guys for experience. They're not... They're not doing that much damage. Ow. How dare you. And plus, we have reviver seeds out the wazoo. Oh, that's mean. They monster house to the monster house. Hey, so we heard that you like monster houses. So we put monster houses on your monster house. I should be using agility. What the fuck is wrong with me? Luckily, it's only uh, Gen 4 in this game. It wasn't until Gen 6 that the Ralts Evolution line got the fairy type as well. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. All right, now we should be able to, like, annihilate some fools. Oh, now this is good. Agility, baby! Agility, baby! Yeah, so I definitely need to annihilate the Houndooms. But it seems like they already all the Pokemon on this floor are gone. God damn it, that did a lot of damage. But I'm a, I'm a god here. Even if my agility is down for the count. Now yeah, let's come on in. Agility just made that far less painful. Woo! I guess I'll eat the plane seed. Motherfucker. 
Why? <laughs> but this this makes it two for two for monster houses that were unable to defeat me. Monster houses ain't got nothing on me. Also, that was two traps next to each other. How dare. <laughs> Double trap. Two traps inside of a monster house! It's just like, why? Why do you want to hurt me so bad, Daddy? I don't know why I said that. I think Frood is watching me. And what the fuck? Are you nuts, game? Are you de fucking me? Even chat is <laughs> just like, I'm sorry? Yeah, like, how is this possible? How did this... How is this possible? Two monster houses, back-to-back -back floors. Oh, that's not good at all. They super evolved. Black gummy. <laughs> Double the monster ho monster house fun. I I don't know why. M my mouth wanted to say monster whore. What is with brain today? I do not control brain at which rate of death. Everything has gone mad. I, f I almost forgot to turn that off. My my surprised face. This is my face. This is my surprised face at everything coming to kill me. I guess I'll eat an apple. Everything. Hey, I uh, die. Huh, weird that that doesn't get rid of, like, the... Motherfucker. Yeah, that is correct. It doesn't... Does not get rid of the motherfucker. Come on, Silas. We got adventures to go on. Oh, hey, now that we're separated from Grove Isle, we can have some fun times. Just... Of course you find a trap up there. You're a grass type. Why are you affected by poison? You are meant to be the epitome of poison. Where's the poison ivy grow vial? Also, apparently, poison ivy is actually an allergic reaction. Fun fact. And, like, a selection of humanity, actually, like, 10% of people doesn't get affected by poison ivy. Fun fact. <laughs> Arceus in heaven, what are we, the bloody victims of the RPG? Exactly! <laughs> Just like two monster houses back to back. If we get a third... Oh, we have, we already have a reflect, I'm not, I'm not worried. But... If we get a third... Monster house? I think I'm gonna be a bit impressed! <laughs> Okay, we're out of mayhem for now. I'm just lucky that I got agility when I did, and that I'm a decent level for this dungeon. At least the these monster houses are far simpler than the monster houses from the first one we got. Which I think was also a dungeon looking for a time gear. I forget exactly what it was. I think I'm gonna kill you anyway. Now what you gotta go and do that for? Die. Not the lodge sod.
force palm the little seedling. Ba 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 ba. You'll have a hat trick if you find a third one, though. I don't think I want this hat. Somebody else can take it. This <laughs> this trilby is not mine. Ba 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 ba. Die. Where do they get spoons? The Alakazam line. Where do they get their spoons? Oh, hey, it's a Curlia! Get away from my boyfriend! I will not let you use a tract. I did, I did, I did, I did. I'm so fucking fuffled, I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit this, but. Well, apparently my diddly day is messed up. Hmm. Weird. That's not supposed to happen at all. Weird. My expressions are out of there. <laughs> Everything's gone so wrong. My expression buttons are going whack. That's the hat trick. I don't want it. <laughs> all right. Agility. Agility. And this Ninetales is super powerful. Oh no. I didn't want this hat. This hat is not mine. I guess I shall put on pursuit. I shall annihilate the Curlia. Damn it, it's not dead. And damn it, he's now confused. At least they'll be damaging themselves on me. Good job, Grovile. You're helping. Leave my friend alone! Now I want to annihilate this guy. Good job, Grovile. Leave him! What's a power gem? Die. Great, now we're both this. Luckily, I'm a non-trader. Good job, boy. Killed him. Great, I didn't want to come down this road. I wanted to get the items. <laughs> Hattrick means doing things three times in a row. It doesn't mean an actual hat. I'm just joking about the term. Just saying, it's just like, I don't want that hat. That hat is not the one I want. Because it wasn't. We got a second dive. Just gotta say, my... Rescue team team? If they met Team Lost Light, they would be so angry that Team Lost Light is just finding HMs on the floor to the point that we can do this for a gummy. <laughs> team Shining would be so upset <laughs> over it. They'd be like, what do you mean you run into dive so often that you're willing to drop it on the floor so you can pick up a gummy? Talk about the exchange rate between, like, I don't know, continents. I imagine all the Mystery Dungeon games take place in the same world. Let's get out of here. I don't want to know what's, what a four is. I don't, I don't want to get, like, a turkey. Level up time. At least all these monster houses are power leveling us. Ugh. Let's see, what's my moves looking like? Hmm. But it's just like three in a row. For the love of God, game, please show mercy. I'm trying to think. You know that one meme image that's like. A kid cowering on the ground as their father looms in the doorway. And I think people like to edit Goofy in there, I think. That's me, but with monster dungeons. One of these days, this game is gonna, like, spawn me inside of a 
Monster Dungeon. Monster Dungeon? Monster House. Sure, you set up Pursuit, but I'm not afraid of you. I have Reviver Seeds. I can die as much as I want. While well, disturbing thoughts happen with that one, I'm not going to voice them. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. You can't deny you got some good experience. Indeed. It's just utterly crazy that, like, three, basically in a row, almost back to back, there was one, like, floor that, between those three, because out of three monster houses, we got them in four floors. She's <laughs> maddening. What's the RNG on that? Man, that guy had, like, so little health, he healed basically an attack, and he still died in one attack. What a poor fool. Oh, hi, Ninetales, with your, your your evil name. You have nine stories to tell me? Is it about your cousin who lives on top of a mountain and curses people who touch their, 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 their tails? I guess I can understand it, like, personal space and all, but still, kind of over the top, if you ask me. How dare. Two items on this floor, you don't say. And it's a violent seed. I have a million violent seeds. In fact, from the amount of days that I'm running into, I'm feeling a bit violent. Play the Alucard clip. But I would say that a lack of TV is making me pretty fucking violent. Imagine now the hero in a mystery dungeon game. Complaining about the lack of electricity and TV to their partner. It was like, I miss television. What's television? Stories from God. <laughs> Grow vile out here being the best wingman. Keeping the sluts off my man. I forgot how many items are in this dungeon because we have no room in our bag, no room in our uh, storage, just no room anything. In fact, come to think of it, Kangaskhan is looking over our, our, like, storage, right? I guess maybe because we're missing, she's not watching it too closely. But what if she was, and she just sees things coming and going? That kind of implies that the Kangaskhan stuff also like, travels through time. I guess I can eat an apple. Fun fact, each tail on a Ninetales has its own mystical powers. Huh. <laughs> it's like the Infinity Gauntlet, but with tails. Damn it. I have to use a... I have regained the power to kill you. But, like, that would be interesting. Like, a Vulpix going on a journey to gather the power of her tails. Where she has to undergo trials to unlock the mystical power held within each tail. And upon getting to, like, a trial that requires another tail that she doesn't have that she because she hasn't evolved, that's when she evolves, when she unlocks the power of the tail she's yet to get. Aren't they, like, nine souls at once? I don't know. All I know is Brain is angry that it's called uh, s Tales as in Stories instead of Tales as in Appendage. You're not going to have a calm mind after I murder you. Idiot. Let's get a jump on this hussy. If we kill her in her sleep, she can't steal my man. <laughs> For some reason, the meme image of, I think, Michelangelo from one of the live-action uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies came to mind. It, like, is a close-up of one of the suits with wide eyes and an open mouth. 
with the caption, Cowabunga it is, like a threat. I love that image. Here's a question. Do you think that somebody might be guarding this tree shroud one now because they're like, oh no, P somebody has gotten the idea to steal the time gears. What if other people do it? And sure, they might say like, oh, but Groval, he came from the future and was taken back there. There's no way that somebody else would do it. I could see somebody being paranoid enough to assign guardianship to the unguarded time gears as well. So we might have to fight some people. And they'd be like, wait a minute. Silas and Neon, Team Lost Light, what are you doing? Sorry, but we're going to need that time gear. Grovile has escaped the future. He has brainwashed Team Lost Light. Actually, come to think of it, that would be absolutely the best, like... I'm trying to think of the word, like... It would be the best, like, parallel to Bubba Ba. The parallel to the fugitive arc in Pokemon uh, Rescue Team. Because in Rescue Team, your, your team became fugitives because of a lie and a bunch of paranoia. And then in this game, your team could become fugitives because they had to. That would be awesome in my opinion, but sadly I don't think they do that. It's already cool enough that we're stealing time gears along with, uh, Grovile. As it is. But, like, going that, that step further of actually turning you into, like, because in the rescue team you became fugitives because everyone wanted to kill you to save the world. So what if in this game, you became fugitives to save the world? I think that would be a neat parallel. Just personally, I think that would be very cool. Again, doubt they'll actually do it. But God, if they did. Hey, Game Freak, hire me. I have story ideas. So many ideas! I really should have done more recycling. Well, that's an item I don't really care about. Die. How do you even slash? Shouldn't you have peck or something because you're a bee? Why is it all... Oops, all Vespa Queen, I guess. God, if that didn't kill, it would have killed me. All it would have had to do was look at me and you slash. Give me that. Give me that item. Give me that money. Ba -da 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 I love the music. Love the music. Remember to stay hydrated as you wander through the perilous for fortress forest. And probably only one of those ideas would get through because it's Game Freak. You never know. Maybe they're extra lenient when it comes to spin-off games. Then again, some of the stuff that actually gets in to the main games. You never know. Get out of here. All you need is somebody there to rock the boat a little. Throw somebody to Moby Dick. Somebody there to topple God. Hello, Vespa Quinn. It's not even Queen, it's Quinn. Why are you a nightmare monster? Why did Gust do super effective against my boy? Did they change the typing of Gust to, and that typing is super effective against fighting? Is this the weird thing where flying is super effective against fighting because you can't punch birds? Is that the logic? 
I, I think I rambled about that a lot when I played yellow. <laughs> Surely we're nearing the end of the dungeon, so I don't want to waste a max elixir, even though we have a ton of max elixirs. My hoarding mindset is coming through. And it was the last level anyway. Never mind. Or maybe it is. Uh, what is this? It's frozen. Did somebody else actually steal the time gear before we did? Or did they, like, put, put it back, but it didn't work? Time is at a standstill here. But didn't they... Just before we were dragged off to the future with you, Grovile. Yuxi, Mesprit, Azel. I entrust you with the rest. Yep, we know. We got the Time Gears back, and we will make sure they return to their rightful places. The task is yours. Didn't Yuxi and his friends make a promise? That they would return the time gears to their rightful places? But time remains st remains why you say that weird. But time remains stopped here. That could mean the time gears may not have been returned to the rightful places yet. We'll see about that. The forest's time gear was over there. No, it has been returned. But what's this? It's a time gear. There's no mistaking it. But Time here seems to be stopped. No wind is blowing. See, those leaves are fixed in place. Time is stopped here. But the time gear has been returned to its rightful place. Why is this happening? Grovile took the time gear. And it only got worse. Hey, what are you doing? Time is already stopped here. It won't make any difference if I take the time gear now. There's also something that's more worrying. More worrying? Forget it. Let's leave. Also, Silas, there's something I'd like you to do. What is it? Before you go back to Sharpedo Bluff, I'd like you to gather some information in Treasure Town. In Treasure Town? But wouldn't everybody know? It'd be like, hey, Silas, why are you back? How you doing? Are you not dead? Yes, here's what I want you to find out. Learn everything you can about what's happening in this world right now. Okay, I'll find out. Everyone thinks you've gone to the future, therefore... Yes, I understand. If they find out I'm back, then there'll be an uproar. I'll keep low and get some news. I'm counting on you. Oh no, the planet's paralysis is already beginning. Temporal tower could be crumbling as we speak. I'm back. I've got some news like you wanted. What's the word? The word is not very good. After we went to the future, Yuxi and his friends returned the time gears to their rightful places. Everyone was happy because they thought time would return to normal. But the time remained stopped in those places. Even worse, it's spreading. Time is stopping in more places. Is that true? Yes, everyone's upset and concerned because no one can figure out what the problem is. Grovile, do you know what this means? If time is stopping in a spreading area, it can only mean one thing. Temporal Tower is starting to collapse. Temporal Tower is collapsing? Correct. Temporal Tower gives structure to time. So if it is starting to collapse, time itself will collapse in ever-widening areas. This is bad. The problem is accelerating. The planet's paralysis is coming on fast. What? But we have to hurry, then! That's right. If we don't hurry, the planet will become fully paralyzed. There's only one way to stop the destruction of time now. We need to gather time gears. Then the time gears must be put in place in Temporal Tower, where Dialga lives. But there's a problem. Temporal Tower is located in a place called the Hidden Land. As the name suggests... No one knows where the Hidden Land is. But there isn't any time. That's right. That's why I think we need to split up for now. I'll go collect the time gears. In the meantime, I want you two to search for the Hidden Land. Understood. Is that okay, Neon? Okay, then. You're in charge. The Hidden Land is supposedly somewhere in this world. Unfortunately, there are no clues as to where it is exactly. Considering that no one has discovered it yet... 
we should probably assume that it's quite far away. We must even consider crossing the sea and discover the means to do so. Cross the sea. I'm sorry I don't have knowledge about how to do that. I'm counting on you. Well, I'll be off to gather the time gears. I already beat up Yuxi and Nazelf and them once before. I'm sure I can kick their ass again. Good luck. Now, we should go searching too. Let's find the hidden land. So, where shall we begin looking? Um, for the time being, we don't... We don't... Well, we don't. Why don't we consider how we can cross the sea? How do we go through Treasure Town without being seen? Well, we just happen to be here at the beach, so... Uh, this is hopeless. A way of crossing the sea? I'm not coming up with anything. I agree to search for the hidden land, but... Where do you suppose we should start looking? And there's no time! Ah! It's true. We've got too little information to go on. And we have no time to waste. We have to locate the hidden land as soon as possible. We have to find Temporal Tower, and then put the time gears inside it. If we fail to do that, our planet will become paralyzed. We have to stop whatever it takes. And to do that, well, we have no choice. We need everyone's help. That's it. I'll tell Silas. Yeah, since we're no longer directly teaming up with Grovile right now, we can at least head back to the guild and be like, Hey, we're back. We we think we can know how to fix things. We just need to find the hidden land and just kind of stay silent about Grovile for a while. Let's go to Wigglytuff's guild. What? You want to go to Wigglytuff's? Why? We disappeared in front of everyone, remember? Well, yes, I think everyone would be really worried about us. And I miss everyone, too. But everything we saw in the future. Everything about Grovile and about Dusknor. And even about your past, Neon. If we tell it all to the guild, how can they believe us? What do you think, Neon? Do you think everyone at the guild will believe us? I don't know, but we have to try. You're right. We can tell everyone about what we experienced. But there's no telling if they would believe us or not. After all, everyone in this world is convinced that Grovile is the villain. And they think Dusknoir is a really good Pokemon. Everyone especially thinks highly of Dusknoir. I saw the future. But I still didn't want to believe the truth about Dusknoir. Even if we were to tell everyone of the truth, I wonder if they would able be able to accept it. It's true. What Silas is saying is true. Maybe no one will believe us if we tell them the truth, but... We have to try. What? We should tell them anyway? Why? They may not believe us, right? But we should tell them? Anyway? Yes, tell them. Why? Why do you think so? We need everyone's help. Everyone's help. I understand. We can't find the hidden land on our own. We do need everyone's help. If we don't get their help, we'll run out of time to prevent the planet's paralysis. Neon. Okay. You're right. Let's go home to Wigglytuff's guild. Silas. Let's go back to the guild and tell everyone the truth. I'm sure that everyone will be shocked. But I'm certain they'll understand. Let's go home, Neon. Back to Wigglytuff's guild. I like the music that's playing. Let's hope everyone believes what happened. I could see Wigglytuff believing. I mean, we did get kidnapped by Dusk Noir. I think they could maybe believe us. Chapter 17, The Guild's Crew. Here we are, Neon. Wigglytuff's guild. It feels as if we were gone a long time. But... Now that we're here, it's kind of awkward to go in. After all, we were suddenly taken away in front of everyone. It would be sort of strange to suddenly show up. No! We can't be acting all bashful now! We have to see everyone and tell them the truth! Okay? I'll stand above the sentry post. <laughs> There is Chadot. Chadot, I think, is weird because I feel like he could believe us. Because 
I think that he would find it strange that Dusk Noir would do what he did. He might find it hard to believe, but I think he'd listen to Wigglytuff in the end. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Oh, whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to... The footprint belongs to... Uh... What's wrong, Diglett? Respond! Respond! Uh... What? Uh... Hey, Diglett! Uh... Where are you going? What do you think you're burrowing off to? That... That footprint... It's Silas! What? Uh... What? Uh... What? It is Silas and Neon too. Diglett, long time no see. Wow, what is that? <laughs> the whole guild. Hey, hey, it's true. Oh my gosh, it's really Neon and Silas. You're both alive. We were worried so much about you. I, I, I wish, by golly. Everyone, we're home. Welcome home, Silas Neon. That's sweet. What? What was that again? Just, just hold on for a minute. Let me get the story straight. Okay. <clears throat> Let me summarize your story thus far. First, Grovile is actually a good Pokemon, and he was collecting the Time Gears to save the world. Yes. And the Great Dusk Noir only pretended to be kind and helpful, but he was actually a heinous and wicked villain. Yes, though I didn't really phrase it as heinous and wicked. Also, Neon was really Grovile's partner. Yes. So Dusk Noir wanted to get rid of both Neon and Grovile, so he took them to the future. Yes, and me too. Then you managed to escape from Dusk Noir by the skin of your teeth. And you barely made it back home from the future. Yes. And finally, this planet will soon become paralyzed. And to prevent that, Grovel has started ta gathering time gears again. Meanwhile, you two are looking for a place called the Hidden Land. Is that your story in its full entirety? Yes, that's all of it. <laughs> Silas and Neon, you must have had a bad dream or something. What? Why don't you two just go to your room and get some rest? Wait a second! You think we're lying? What we just told you is all true! I'm sure, I'm sure. I'm sure you two are suffering from exhaustion. A good nap will fix it. That's not it, Chatot. Seriously, we're telling you the truth. That's quite enough! So tell me, is there any part of your story that's even remotely plausible? A place called the Hidden Land. I'm the head of intelligence here and I've heard of no such place. Besides, the Great Dust Noir is far too kind to do anything like you've alleged. He literally kidnapped us. Well, yes, I couldn't believe the truth about Dust Noir either. It came as a huge sock and... Uh, sock? A huge shock, and it was really hard to accept. But... I'll hear no more of this! I don't care what you say, the Great Dust Noir, the villain! That's simply unbelievable! Seriously, don't you two feel the same way? How can anybody seriously think of the Great Dust Noir as a villain? We hold Dust Noir in high esteem. We cannot believe it. We got kidnapped. <laughs> see, see? See? Everyone shares the same opinion. But... Hmm? What is it, Sunflora? There is something I don't understand. That time, when the Great Dusk Noir was able to return to the future. This is what I'm saying. He kidnapped us. It's too soon for farewells. Wah! You two are coming with me. Wah! My gosh! Silas Neon! But what was? What just happened? What Dusk Noir did then? It was strange any way you look at it. Really? Do you think so? Don't you think that Silas and Neon fell into the dimensional hole by accident? No way! Dusk Noir grabbed Silas and Neon and yanked them in! Hey, hey, that's right! It looked that way to me too! Hey, hey, what happened was really weird! Gosh, I really had no... I had to wonder why Dusk Noir did something like that. If... If what Silas said is true, then what Dusk Noir did suddenly makes perfectly sense. What? Wait a minute! So is that what you think now? Are you actually saying that you now believe that Silas and Neon are claiming? Well, what's your answer? Uh, I believe him. What? What did you say? 
So, Bidoof, you're now claiming that the Great Dusk Noir is a villain? Oof, golly, I surely did think highly of Great Dusk Noir. The whole idea sounds troubling when you put it that way. But there's something more important here. Yep, yep, Neon and Silas are more important. That's why I believe that ne what Neon and Silas have to say. What? B Bidoof. Hey, hey, I believe too. Me too, oh my gosh. They're our guild colleagues after all. Oh, Corfish and Sunflora. I believe them. Me too. So do I. Casting doubt on our colleagues is wrong. Trust is a must. Oh! <laughs> Thank everyone. Thank you for believing us. Well, hiya. Sounds like we all agree. Huh? We all believe our friends. That's great. Then let's begin searching for the hidden land. Whoa, just hold on there, Guildmaster. <laughs> yeah, this, that is a bit accidentally fell in. Chatot! Chatot is a weird little guy sometimes. This is why we need Wigglytuff to wrangle him sometimes. Huh? What's wrong? We're not all in agreement yet, are we? Huh? We're all good with a story. But I suspect that Chatot isn't convinced. Oh, is that all? You don't need to worry about Chatot. Huh? Chatot is convinced, right? Huh? Because Chatot believes, believed Silas's story all along. Right, Chatot? <laughs> what? How peculiar. Well, good master, there's no fooling you. I admit it. Yes, I believe Neon and Silas right from the start. Uh huh, really? But if I really would have said that, I believe them right away. Everyone would have just gone along with what I said. What's all this? That's why I was so contrary. I just wanted to put your friendship to the test. Gosh, likely story. But without a doubt, I was convinced from the get-go. I knew everyone would surely believe their colleagues. Says you. <laughs> Neon, Silas, I believe you. You're my good friends and guild membership. Now listen, everyone. Time is stopping in more and more places. From Silas' story, we know our world is in danger. I just kind of want to touch on that. Because Shoutout didn't act, like, too suspicious during that, so I kind of believe him. Mostly, although I do wonder, it's entirely possible that Wigglytuff gave him, like, a way to save face. So I don't know. Chatot is a weird little guy sometimes. That means we have to do something. This is our time. In the name of Wigglytuff's guild, we'll combine all of our efforts. We'll discover the hidden land. Let's do this, everyone! Hooray! Chat up? Yes, sir. <coughs> okay, everyone. From now on, we're shifting all of our efforts to locating the hidden land. We also have to let everyone know what is happening to our world. It's going to get busy. We'll all have to work hard. I sure will. I'll put, I'll put it down to Treasure Town. I'll get the word out back, golly. I'll go too. We have to let Azulf and his friends know too. If they're back to their graves, that they get their graves at their lakes, they may try to stop Grovile. Hey, hey, then I'll go tell them. Okay, everyone, search for the hidden land, please. Yeah. Bed of sunflower and others. Once your errands are done, gather information on the hidden land. Yes, sir. We'll hurry. We'll find the hidden land together. You. Hooray! All right. Let's show some guts! Hey, hey, hey! I'm sorry that I don't have any information on the Hidden Land, but maybe the wise Torkoal, the town elder, may know something. Torkoal, the town er elder? That would be the wisest and oldest Pokemon in Treasure Town. He loves the hot spring, so he's always there. In fact, I'm positive that you'll find him at the hot spring. Oh, wait, we've already been there before. Huh. You and me, he Jordan, I wanted to dropkick him in self-defense. <laughs> if you ask me, Infinite Simp, I did shout out the, in a monster house. Yeah, we wouldn't do that. 
we would just kind of uh, tar and feather him so he can have two feather coats. Oh, I remember. Yep. Now, this is actually worthy of a flashback. It's been a bit. My goodness. It was the water that carried you all this way. What a long journey that must have been. Let the hot spring wash away your fatigue before you make your way home. <coughs> Good idea. We'll do that. Thanks, everyone. I guess it does make sense. Yeah, some of the Treasure Town inhabitants are there. It's him. It's that nice old Pokemon we met. You should put his years of wisdom to use. Go ask Torkoal for advice. The first time we went to the hot spring, we had to go through Waterfall Cave, Neon. Let's go! Onward to hot spring! But first, it's getting late, and besides, you must be hungry. Huh? My stomach growled. <laughs> Yours did too! You should have dinner, then get a good night's sleep. We can all get to work tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Neon's belly growled again! Oh, did everyone hear that? What a laugh, Neon! Let your belly bark back at Chimico, eh? I don't understand the humor of it. But it is nice to see everyone get together so happily. <laughs> chomp, 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 chomp. Although I kind of miss sleeping in Sharpedo Bluff already. We only got to sleep there like one night. <laughs> It's been so long since we've been in this room. It feels as though I'm finally home. You know, I'm glad everyone came to believe our story. It made me a little choked up. Let's go meet Torkoal tomorrow and talk with him. Let's get back at it tomorrow, Neon! The next morning. Up and at him! It's morning! Man, it's been a while since we heard that. Uh... Good morning, Neon. Of course we'd like to save our adventure. <laughs> so, wrapping up, everyone's aware of their duties today. By golly, yes. I'm already go. Good. Those of you investigating the hotland. land. The hotland. land? The hot land of hot chippy babes. And those of you spreading the word about the true state of affairs, I expect you to organize your teams accordingly and get going. What am I saying? Shutout wouldn't care about hot chippy babes. He has Wigglytuff. He likes big old men. Except Wigglytuff's not really all, all that old. He likes big spry men. Let's get right to it, everyone. Hooray! We must go to Hot Spring and get information from wise old Torkoal. I think we have to go through Waterfall Cave to get the, to the hot spring, so let's make our way toward the hot spring. We really don't have to do that because everyone else gets to the hot spring normally. <laughs> it's good that you two made it back from the future. It makes me happy. <laughs> Welcome to the swap shop, bitches. Another Rialu tail. And what's Deceit Mask? Ah, for a while. What do you want to know? May seal one of enemy's known moves when it attacks. That's interesting. What's a nine hair? I guess we'll grab another Rialu tail just because we can. I'll swap these two. Just in case. Why not? It's, I'm, still, I'm still upset that I've yet to get anything of mine. There's no Zorua items in here. It's mean. Where's my items? I need black silk, dark dust, dark gem, and dust globe. I want my dust globe. I want my dust globe. The Hidden Land? I don't think so. No, I've never heard of such a place. The guild seems to be buzzing with activity. You're not even going to comment on me existing? First things first, we're gonna come down here. Hey, long time no see! You were out on some kind of journey, weren't you? I just got back from a long journey myself. Hey you, I heard a rumor that the fate of the world is at stake, is that true? It's a lie, right? It has to be. I don't know what I'd do otherwise. I haven't seen you in a while. Where have you been? Murder. 
different things happen when you consume many different drinks. I usually get a really tasty drink, but the last one I had was just terrible. But Spin always has such a happy grin on his face, I wasn't able to bring myself to tell him it was terrible. We have a lot of gummies to devour. Well, first off, black gummy for me, so I can become a god. Added the black gummy. That's right! Shake it this way, shake it that, and stir it all around, and it's done! Oh, I've got a good feeling about this one. Various flavors don't clash, instead they blend together in a beautiful harmony in this fine drink. Ooh, type advantage master. Huh, what? In IQ increase too. Isn't that grand? And an orange gummy for Silas. This must also be extra nice to come here and kind of relax with these wonderful drinks before going on a m grand old mission. I've got a good feeling about this drink. The delicious flavor overwhelms your senses and delights your digestive system. Ah, Brick Tough, finally! Ooh, and he learned Type Advantage Master. Interesting. I'll have to take a look at that. Huzzah. But it is kind of nice. Just come back here and relax. Moderately sweet, the natural flavor comes bursting forth. Do, 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 Shake it that way, shake it that way. Shake it this way, shake it that. The hot royal gummy drink. A light, rich flavor that just melts in your mouth. More. More. And a clear gummy, too. More. More. More intelligence. Do, 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 do. A savory fragrance and unique bitterness come over together for a mature flavor. Now I gotta see. What is. Well, first, well, I guess I can check them both here. Let's see. What is Brick Tough? The Pokemon's body becomes tougher, which gives it more HP. That's very nice. What's a type advantage master? Uh, critical hit rate is boosted when attacking enemies that have a type of disadvantage. That's super cool. Did you hear the happy news? Why not? It's been quite a while, so I've heard no news. So, higher grade recycle items. Yay! 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 We've been gone for so long, and that's all you get. All you get, 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 get. <gasps> What? You give motherfucking protein? Motherfucking protein? Oh, and if it's a dedicated thing that just takes. Oh, I love it! Yeah! And that's it. <laughs> we only got one, but I got it. Yeah! I want Silver Talk. We're gonna have to grab all the other the dibbidas. The other dibbidas. The other da 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 das. The other dibbidas. The da 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 da. Give me that silver ticket, motherfucker! Give me that silver ticket! Give me a red! Is it a win? It is a win! That's right! Wowie, that's wonderful! That's so great, why not take your prize? Train punch. Not sure if that's like, uh... Super duper wonderful good... But at least it's a thing. I will murder God. Do, 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 Definitely some of these. We have so many of them. We don't need that many, Bubby. Do, 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 do. 
Oh yeah, focus punch. Don't really need you all that much. And I have tons of money, so I don't really need all that much. I'm not, I have nothing to spend it on. I'd like to redeem it now. I would like blue. I'm blue. Double D, double D, double D. Ah, oh, we lost. I guess they don't like Eiffel 65. Eh, orange berries not that bad. We gave you like we gave you like two or three orange berries just now. What's the information on this bitch? Let's see. Inflicts damage on the target, then restores the user's HP based on damage. Let's see. Hit ratio doesn't seem that bad, and power doesn't seem that bad. We might give it to him. It would be stab. But that would also maybe leave him kind of vulnerable because he has bite and a uh, force palm. Mama recycling is what we do. So we can redeem that ticket. Give me a low price today. Is it a win? Is it not? It's not. We're recycling right now, and so we know. Interesting. Sure. Yes. Red. Is it a win or is it not? It's not. We got a, a second roll consolation prize. That was also a lose. We got recycling. What? Oh. We want to recycle. We don't want to do that. We want more recycling, you stupid little motherfucker. We've got recycling to do. Everything has a lot of work to do. Recycling is very important. So what shall we give you? What is Energy Ball, bitch? Well, he can't learn it anyway. So it's not that important, bitch. What? Da da. Nobody can learn that. But what's that diddly do? The poison jab, how good. It's a poison physical attack with a good power and hit ratio. But I don't think I might make a. I wish it told me the power points of the move. That would always be a nice thing to know. Oh well, it's not all that important, I guess, as we do this. Do 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 ba da ba dee 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 dee. We've got a lot of things to do, so please just take all of these and get them out of our storage so we can use it. I guess we'll go with the blue there. Is it a win or is it a loss? Oh, it's a win. What do we get? I don't know. I'm just doing my recycling so we can actually use our damn storage. So what is it? It's a light screen. I think I could have... That's a little weak, but oh... Uh oh well, I guess we've still got a lot to give away. Do 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 do. You can have that back. We've got a lot to give. So here, have some more berries. I guess I'm not using it. I don't really know it all at all. Just get these out of here. Then yeah, I'll go ahead and redeem and give me that yellow card. Is it win? No, it's a loss. Oh, damn it, oh. What's a consolation? Another prize ticket. I think they're messing with us. 
Then I'll wear I'd like to go and say, what's our wet names? I'll go yellow then and what will be when loses it for me. It's a win, but it's normal price tickets. It's no like <laughs> I want to see the huge win. Me too. It's been a long time. Granted, it's kind of shocking that we got like three wins in a row and got a super win that one time, so yeah. <laughs> I don't think... I, I, that feels illegal. Red, I guess we won this in a prize. We spin a silver ticket to get a prize ticket to give a silver ticket to get a loss. If you give us a prize ticket as a consolation prize, at least I can use that. <laughs> We've got a lot of things to recycle today. Everything away, but it's so very nice. Just get it away. <laughs> Ba 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 and everything is moving out again to rule the day. I have so many fucking orbs to give to go away. Take them out, I'm never gonna use them. They're basically there for the random missions that demand them in return, I guess. Well, well, nobody lose because this is rigged. It's gambling. Oh, well, it's not that much the worst thing to get as a consolation prize. We've got a lot of things to recycle. Da dee, da ra, ba da be, ba da day. I don't even know. We're gonna have to take all the scummies with us so that we can, I guess. Do things maybe do do daddy bubby bobby do 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 daddy oh embargo he's got another one earlier so you can take that too because I just want to recycle and get this dead out of here Yellow I guess it's just a pattern I'm looking at it's a normal win. I wonder what we get. It's not a big win, but it's a win. So what is the wonderful prize? It's facade. Isn't that a dark time move? Well, I'm gonna go and like do some dibbity dabbity dibbity dabbity 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 and then we'll come back. What is facade? Alright. Uh, move inflicts damage on the target and double damage if the user has burn poisoned or badly poisoned status effects. We can both learn it. What the fuck is a facade? Lower hit ratio, but decent hit power. What? <laughs> For a moment, I thought I read that as enemy. Like, I thought that said something like hit enemy in foot. But no, it's just like enemy in front, my brain. Oh, Neon and Silas, you're all right. Am I ever glad? I heard you disappeared into something called a dimensional hole that made us very worried. But you're back, and you're all right. So I'm glad to see you. Welcome back, Silas and Neon. I've been telling everyone the truth, by golly. Folks find it hard tale to swallow, but I'm winning them over with my honesty. I'm surely getting through to folks. Yep, yep. Grovel is actually gathering up the time gears to save the world. Well, that's hard to believe. I'm sorry, it's not that I don't trust you or anything. It's just that we only just heard the news, and frankly, we're overwhelmed. You're both back safely. That's wonderful news. Oh, I also heard something from Badoof earlier. He said Grovel is actually good. And the great Dustnor is the bad guy. Is that really true? I heard something that gave a short circuit. Grovile's really the good guy, and Dustnor is the bad guy? That was a funny place. You never know what to expect. See, that's the right that's the right attitude to have. What about you? I'm currently glad to see you back in back safe and sound. When you were gone, everyone was so concerned over you. Why, it seemed to sap the cheer out of all of Treasure Town. 
but all that's over now. I'm so glad to see you safe and home. I've never even used your service. I just like talking to the shops so we can, like, hear them. Hey, right, you guys. You're saying our planet's paralyzed in the future. You're not kidding? The story is making the rounds in Treasure Town. It's hard to believe. But it is true that time hasn't gone back to normal where stolen time gears were put in place. Worse yet, the zones where time has stopped are growing larger. There are things happening that don't make sense. That's why I don't think it's safe to deny the rumor. You know, the rumor about Grovile. The same Grover. Cypher! The same Grover is actually a good guy. <laughs> How do you expect me to believe that now? Yo, you two are safe! And they say you came back from the future. That's amazing stuff, you two! Your gutsiness, I like it! I have faith in you. Never give up! I'm so happy to see you back safe, team. Lost Light. I'm not very good at figuring out complicated things, but you can always count on my support, Team Lost Light. Oh yeah, because they, they were the first person that we did a job for. I like that. I'm helping get word out about what really happened. The others are finding it hard to believe right away, but I'll do my best. Oh my goodness, you're safe. Oh, thank mercy. I was so worried about you. You're back without a scratch on you. That, this is wonderful. I shouldn't be sobbing. I should be strong like you. And that why, that why Mama Kangaskhan, you're the best. Everyone deserves a Mama Kangaskhan. Get these apples out of here. Get these apples out. Let's do a bunch of openings with these damn boxes that we got from the future. And that way we can just diddly dim. It has been a long time. <laughs> that is all he has to say. It has been a long time. And to appraise all your items it requires lots of money. Let the appraisal begin. Quick. And so, it is revealed, within the boxes were a cherum do, a Luxio Claw, a Cheremy Seed, a cherum do, a Nine Hair, a Fion Card, a Mobile Scarf, a Zoomadoo, a Glidoo, Possum Band, Why Not Card, Feral Claw. What more do you want? Will you get another box? I'll have the eyes to probe its mysteries. A Mobile Scarf, you say? What be Mobile Scarf? Enables movement anywhere. Hmm, a held item that enables the Pokemon to move and attack through walls and move across inhospitable terrain, such as magma. Beware, the Pokemon's ability will go down faster while traveling through walls. Hmm. It helped... It... Huh. I think I'm going to keep that on me, but I'm going to, like, swap between it as needed because I like my bow. My bow no go. No. No. My bow. My bow stay. Oh, wait, no. We don't want to get rid of the Valiant Rock. The Valiant Rock's our rock. And now we got them. We want to take out a bunch of gummies. A lot of gummies, gummies, gummies. Give me all those gummies. We even got two orange gummies for Silas. So he can become very smart and swole. Ah, welcome back. We were very worried about you. No one seemed to know where you went. It is good to see you home safe. And good to have you shop with us again. What you gotta sell, boy? Geo Pebble Person Band. <gasps> Black gummy! Yes. Yes. I want intelligence. And that's all. Thank you very much. What about you? Ah, welcome back, Neon and Silas. Ah, we are happy to see you. We were so very worried about you. I like that he's kind of, like, more normal about it than the boy. Flamethrower. Who can learn it? Nobody. I feel scammed. 
da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. I wonder if we can just go to Sharpedo Bluff whenever we want now. I think we can. Oh, that's sweet. I wish there was, like, a little conversation we could have here with the partner. But I like that this place is just activated now. Still kind of weird that the partner never tells you about that place just yet. But then again, it might hold negative memories for the partner. Because... Oh, uh, good to see you with us. Your absence kept him free from resting in peace. Uh, go ahead and store all this away. But it's entirely possible that Sharpedo Bluff has a negative connotation for the partner. Because that's where they lived for so, so long until the, uh, the main character came along and they were able to go and do things then. I'm gonna drink this and become very schmirt. But who knows? Because, like, like, Shirley has to play some role in the future as well. It can't just be, like, da-ba-da. It can't just be that it was there for everyone to have a rest for that one night. <laughs> but who knows? Remember to drink lots of delicious tea while you wait for your gummy sweetness to become a drink that you can then drink. That's right! Shake it this way, shake it that. Shake that Pokemon ass. I wonder what other IQ diddly Ds exist. Because they feel different compared to the IQ skills of Rescue Team. But yeah, I'm gonna keep that mobile scarf with us the entire time until we no longer need it. Oh, another person. I see you're a true connoisseur. Okay, that makes sense. I guess you're a berry guy. I noticed the way you tasted your drink and getting to know the flavor before gulping it down. You're obviously a gourmet, and I would love to join you on your adventures. What do you think? Will you let me join the team? Sure. All right, Shuckle. I already forgot your gender symbol, so you're just going to be... You are now... Mr. I love that. You are now Mr. Barry. I like, I find it ever so hilarious that, like, y they see somebody just drinking gummies. And they're like, oh dear lord, I just have to go on adventures with this person. At least we're getting lots of stats out of this. Do we have any other gummies? We have lots of gummies. Gummy gummies, oh, lots of gummies. All the gummies make delicious juice that will drink away. Baba. Ooh, got a good feeling about it. He's got a good, 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 good feeling about it. His power is to make the most godly gummy drink that could ever be. Gummy, gummy, gum, rabbi. Gum, 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 gum. It's gummy time. Delicious gummies that make you smart. Oh, woohoo! It's a secret exploration spot that oh, now only you know, somehow, even though it's on this drink bottle. And now people are going to get stuck there. So obviously other people have to know about it. <laughs> Again, it would be one thing if you could actually go to these places and at the end it's like treasure and stuff. But they're always just like, you go there because uh, missions happen there. IQ went up and attacked another one. It's a snobble. I noticed the way you tasted your drink, getting to know the flavor before gulping it down. 
I wonder what the RNG about that is. All right, Snubble. Uh, you can stay Snubble. Sure. It's kind of funny. We're going to save because we did a lot there. And we don't really have anything for Waterfall. So we're just going to come down this way and check out the beach because we can. Again, it would be neat if there were like little conversations you could have with your partner at certain places like Sharpedo Bluff Cave at the beach every now and then. I think that would have just a little bit of extra flavor. Well, let's go to the Waterfall Cave. Water, water, waterfall, waterfall cave. Mr. Torkoal, we've come to murder. And now we can finally adventure peacefully. <laughs> We no longer have to be afraid of just dying. Oh, hey, box. Good. If you have a box, too, <laughs> good. I was just going to say, if it had a box, I was going to get very upset. Because that always seems to happen. How many boxes have I lost to fucking water? H2O, we devoured mine. I'm going to go to sleep now. Ha, you missed, idiot. Another box. Boxes, 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 boxes. They held things like tails. Boxes, boxes, boxes. Okay, we're so powerful, some of these guys can't even damage us. Mm. Then again, I have the mobility scarf. So if a box did fall in the water, I would still be able to get it. Although now I run the risk of uh, forgetting I have the mobile scarf. And therefore missing out on a chance to get things that fall in the water. Oh no. What a horrifying thought. My memory is bad, so that's probably going to happen. Also, the money that we're getting is so pitifully short. How does the how does the future have more money than this? Why does Waterfall Cave have so little money, but the future have so much money? Although I suppose, like, nobody in the future is coveting money. So even if they came across money, they'd be like, what the what is this? This is worthless. I want a berry. I want an apple. Sorry. Do we care? You're a low-level dungeon. You're a low-level dungeon, mon. Take us to the forest. Burn away the sin. Now, why would you do that, you, you, you evil little, you little monster? How dare you? It's very rude. Do, 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 do. I might just really like this game. So nice. It was just a fun old time. Box. Boxes, 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 boxes. I'm getting so many boxes, it's just random drops now. It's low six. I swear, if a monster house spawns in here, I'm going to be angry. Then again, at the same time, mon- Because, <laughs> like, one thing I always thought, like, oh, monster houses. If you look in and there's a bunch of items lying around, uh, it could be a monster house. All the monster houses I've fallen into, they had, like, one or two items. They, they were never like, oh, there's, like, five items in there. No, that never happens. Because the world is cursed, Billy. Nobody cares to actually stop the dear monster houses anymore. Would you please stop that? Die. Die. You are very mean, and now you must die. Why'd you use that twice in a row? Are you an idiot? Give me your box. Hey, wanna buy a box? Box time. You've heard of bullet time. Get ready for box time. Why would you mud spurt? How dare you? Die. Once again, Silas just acting a complete menace. 
by overkilling these low-level monsters. He's like, I want experience! Uses move to utterly crush that whooper's rib cage. Ah, speaking of whooper. Congratulations. Your rib cage is not smushed. Good for you. Ba 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 ba. And plus, if we ever run into ghosts in the walls, we can put on the mobile scarf and smack them. They can follow us all they want. How dare you. Now prepare to die. How dare you not die. Prepare to die. I think his growl did nothing there that second time. Oh, we're finally getting hungry. Right as we end the dungeon. <laughs> and then we just got here. The hot spring here is good for loosening up knotted muscles. That way I keep my arms raised all the time. It does a number on my shoulders. <laughs> is that a fourth wall break? <laughs> I'm lucky the hot spring exists. I'm usually hot-headed, but when I come here, I calm right down. Wait a minute. Why does your sprite look like it's not finished? Like, this guy's sprite is fine. But then we come over here, and his sprite isn't finished. Or like, his icon. It's not colored in fully. Turku! Ma, my young friends. Come to wash away your exhaustion. Oh, not so. I see. You seek my wisdom. Uh, there's no better place than this to share your story. Ah, I see. The Hidden Land, you say? I have heard of it. Oh, really? The Hidden Land is truly a place of legend. It is tattered lore at best, handed down by oral tradition. No matter. P please, tell us. Of course. I can tell you only what I have heard. The hidden land lies beyond the sea. In a hidden place, so the story goes. A hidden place? Yes. The hidden land allows only the chosen to find it. To go there, one must possess certain qualities. Ah, oh, a place that only someone with proper qualifications can go to. Okay, Torkel, what are those qualifications? They are... Uh, uh, now what were they? Oh no, the Alzheimer's are hidden. Oh, I'm sorry, it slipped my mind. Oh no, you've forgotten? Please, Torkoal, please remember. This is really important. That's easy for you to say, but... Uh, um. Oh, that's it. You need proof. You needed proof of some sort. Yes, that was it. Proof. Proof? What kind of proof? That would be... Uh, um, forgive me, I've forgotten again. What? You can't remember? I I'm sorry to disappoint you. Uh, all right. Uh, can you recall anything else at all? No, that's all. Forgive me, youngsters. If I recall what proof you need, I'll be sure to let you know. Yes, please. Thank you, Torkel. We should go back to the guild, Neon. Hey, we got some stuff. We got context. Hmm, so Torko couldn't provide us with many answers. That's too bad. Oh, that's not entirely true. We know that we need proof, and knowing that is a step forward. Right? Hey, <laughs> we're searching too. Yeah, we didn't find anything. But there's no giving up. We have to keep trying, by golly. Has not been Oof's voice at all. I'll keep trying too. We should have dinner and rest up for the night. We'll resume our efforts tomorrow. Oh, uh, well. Thanks, everyone. Now I wonder what a Mystery Dungeon game would be like if, like, the player character, like, actually spoke. Like, actual back-and-forth conversations.
at least a bit more back and forth conversations. Hello, says Twitch chat. Hello, hello. We are playing the grand Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Explores the sky with the expanded sky ROM hack. It's very fun. I'm just loving the story. I'm loving the music. I'm loving this game. I love Mystery Dungeon. <sighs> We're not making as much progress as we'd hoped. When we talked with Torkoal, I started thinking we had a hope. I wonder how Grovile is doing. Has he gathered the time gears? We need to hurry. But there's no point in getting all flustered. Especially since everyone is helping out. We should get some rest. And then start with fresh resolve tomorrow. Okay, Neon. Good night. How am I doing? I'm doing very good. Today has been quite nice. Uh, brain attacked me with a new story idea. I have way too many story ideas. I've just been... overflowing with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon story ideas. It's like crazy. I also need to draw more. So that I can, like... I need to draw more and write more and get these ideas out there into the world. Or else they're just gonna fade. How about you, though? How is your day going? The next morning... Muppet Adam, it's morning! Uh, good morning, Neon. Would you like to save your adventure? Yes, I would. Hmm. We'll wander around the town and, like, do thing, thing, seeing if anything pops up, and then we'll probably end, because we've been going for three hours, jeez. I thought we were, I thought we still had a decent amount of time, but it's all... Time flies. Time is an illusion. It's starting to freeze here in our world. Ahem. So, in short, the hidden land remains shrouded in mystery. But we're not giving up. Hooray! Let's get out there and investigate again today. Let's go, everyone. Hooray! Where should we go to investigate today, Neon? We've already talked with Torkoal, and we're out of leads. Pokemon detected! Pokemon detected! Whose footprint? Whose footprint? Whose footprint? The footprint belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. The footprint belongs to Torkoal, the town elder. What? Torkoal is here? I ah, he must have drank a bunch of gummies and got his memory back. <sighs> Finally, I caught up with you. <sighs> Climbing up the, to this guild is hard on these old bones. What brings you here, Torkoal? Did you maybe remember something? Indeed I did. But I've recalled only one more tiny thing, sorry to say. Yesterday I contemplated the waters of the hot spring for a long time. Finally one recollection surfaced. But it really is something small. I worry it would be even worthwhile to share with you. Not a worry. Every little bit of information helps, however small. Please say it, say it! When we spoke of travel to the Hidden Land yesterday, I said that you needed proof of your qualification to go there. I remembered a bit more about that proof. The proof bears an inscription of a certain pattern. A certain pattern? Hey, so what kind of pattern would that be? Uh, how can I describe it? Uh, it's difficult to describe, but I can tell you that the pattern is quite intricate and odd. It's a peculiar pattern, the kind of pattern you rarely see. A pattern you rarely see. Golly! You'd think it would be kind of... I could think of something. But trying to think of such a thing, it, it's not easy when one tries. Uh, what could it be? The kind of pattern you rarely see. What could a pattern like that look like? A pattern you rarely see. A peculiar... Wait a second. A peculiar pattern? A peculiar pattern? I remember that time. So one day, I happened to come across my relic fragment. I admit that it looks like junk, but uh, take a closer look. I still like that art. See? That inscription forms a strange pattern, doesn't it? It's true, there is a strange inscription. I've never seen a pattern like it. How would you describe it? I have no idea. Some, like, kind of wings? Kind of hands? I don't know. Especially if you only, like, saw it a long time ago. Like, even if describing it while looking at it, it's kind of hard. That's it! The relic fragment was inscribed with a peculiar fragment! 
Huh? What is it, Neon? What? My relic fragment? Oh, right! The pattern! Excuse me, uh, could you have a look at this? Oh! This is it! It's a pattern exactly like this! What? Uh, where, where did you get this? Well, I'm not sure if I can remember. I just happened to pick it up. Yippee, that is fantabulous! Since Silas has this, does it mean that Silas is qualified to go to the Hidden Land? That I wouldn't know. Maybe yes, maybe no. To go to the Hidden Land, one must surely possess that proof. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the bearer of the proof really possesses the qualifications to be chosen. That proof may be merely the physical key to the Hidden Land. Even before that, though, this shares the same inscribed pattern. There's no sure connection between this fragment and the Hidden Land. Oh, but there's no question that this pattern has something to do with the Hidden Land. Knowing only that is a lot. I suppose so. Wait, you do realize that the Hidden Legend is only the, the Hidden Legend? Haha, <laughs> I'm a fool. The Hidden Land is only a spoken legend, right? You're surely not trying to find the Hidden Land. Yes, we are. My goodness, what a surprise. Chadot, this pattern, we've seen this somewhere, haven't we? What? Uh, yes, the sea inlet to the northeast, west, northwest, inside Brine Cave. But, Guildmaster, that place. Yes, I know, that vicious bandit was there. A vicious bandit? By golly! Everyone, please calm down. I once saw the same pattern deep inside a place called Brine Cave. I think we can discover more by taking the relic fragment there. However, there is one problem. A Pokemon lurks there who is a vicious bandit. Hey, hey, we're not about to let that scare us. Aren't we explorers? We all need to be brave. Thanks, everyone. But that place is challenging. Everyone should take time today to get ready. We'll set off for Brine Cave tomorrow. Hooray! Oh. <laughs> I thought that the Hidden Land was nothing more than folklore. Getting old has made me my thinking so inflexible. That's very sad. This all makes me remember the days when I dreamt of romance and adventure. Help me see my dreams again. Do your best. <laughs> yes, you can count on us. Thank you, Torkoal. Oh, it was nothing. <laughs> How does a tortoise Torkoal even climb that? All right, everyone. Spend the rest of today getting ready. Okay? Dismissed. Hooray! Yep, yep. We'll get ready, by golly. I keep messing, I keep messing up Biddle's voice because I'm a fool. Oh my gosh, this will be so exciting! Ba 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 ba. Chadot? Chadot, you stay at the guild tomorrow on standby. G Guildmaster, forgive me if I'm out of line, but please let me go to Brian Cave. Nope, I can't let you face danger like that ever again. But that's why! That's why I must go! Please take me to Brian Cave! Okay. Then I want you to go with Team Lost Light tomorrow. Guide Neon's team to the place where we saw that strange pattern. But I want you to be careful. Thank you. I won't let you down. Another thing. I have something I need to do, so I have to go out. You're in charge while I'm gone. As you wish. <laughs> so, that's where it stands. You two will be with me tomorrow. As such, Team Lost Light's non-guild members may not come along. Brian Cave has a vicious foe lying in wait. You mustn't let down your guard. And don't do anything that keeps me from succeeding there. Uh, okay. Neon, let's go get ready. Let's go to Treasure Town. Do 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 do. <laughs> Tomorrow I'm going to... To Brian Cave. <laughs> Please have a thing for the boy. Please have thing for me. Damn it, there is not anything for Zorua here. And there's only ever been... Like... I wish I could just, like, 
trade for these. Kind of just like that it's random chance. Because it just makes me feel like I will never get anything. Yeah, it's just info, 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 so there's no guaranteed way to get anything from you. You two go on ahead to Treasure Town and get ready. When another apprentice comes back, I'll let him cover for me while I get geared up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, we'll quickly... That's how this works. I'll quickly run around things, and then... We'll continue. Oh, to be young again. If I was younger, I'd certainly join the challenge to find hidden land. Whoa, ho, ho. hold it there, old timer. H who is it? These bastards. It's been a long time. B what is it? What do you want? <laughs> well, well, Team Skull. <laughs> Did you have any business of Wigglytuff's skill, old timer? Whoa, ho, ho. I overheard you say something that sounded fun. Something about the hidden land. <laughs> uh, I was only... Huh? Someone's coming. Whoa, you chumps. Old timer, why don't we take this chat somewhere? We won't be disturbed. <laughs> hey! Can't believe they kidnapped the town elder. How rude. They heard us all the way in here? Getting excited over the planet's paralysis takes too much effort. The planet will be paralyzed if something's not done. We'd offer to help, but being motivated isn't really our thing. The guild seems to be buzzing with purpose these days. The Hidden Land? No, I can't say I've heard of it. However, there that's the sort of name that gets an explorer's pulse pounding. Oh, the Hidden Land. I just love this game. This is such a grand experience. Like, again, I really did like Rescue Team, but this is so good. I'll go ahead and take my money so we can just glance around at things. I hear the whole guild's off to Brian Cave. Best of luck to you. Hey, Brian Cave, there's some nasty enemies on the loose. Everyone better get stoked up with proper equipment. Hey, hey. We came running when we heard the world's in danger. I tell you, this is no time to be so soaking in the hot spring. So, we've come, but what are we supposed to do now? The whole world's about... Uh, time is about to stop. <laughs> Team Skull literally makes themselves hated. It's hard not to hate them. That is true. They are the kind of characters made to be hateable. I'm getting kidnapped to prepare to go to Brine Cave. <gasps> hey, I believe too. I believe in you. We've never heard anything about the hidden land. But if anyone can find it, I'm sure you can. Go for it. I believe what you said. After all, it's very strange that time hasn't started moving again after time gears were put back. I'm in your corner. I hope you succeed. The horrible enemies within Brine Cave. What do you suppose they are? Eek, thinking about them frightens me. This is our two appraisal. And to appraise all your items, let the appraisal begin. Quick, quick, qua! Qua-ha! And so, it is revealed within the boxes were an Eevee tail, a skitty card, Iggly do Feral Claw Swamp card. The Eevee tail would have been so good if I was in my, the original timeline where I was an Eevee. Slightly boost defense. In the original plan, I was going to be an Eevee, but then I went for this ex expanded sky. Yo, I heard! The plan's going to be paralyzed and nothing's done, and that's bad news. Bad, bad, bad! Hello there. Hello, Kangaskhan. Well, bring us stuns in. Actually, uh, we'll look at the seeds that we have to... Maybe do something else. I think we forgot to use the protein in Waterfall. Oh, well. Now we'll see what you have. Welcome to the Kecleon shop. <laughs> I guess we'll buy a Reviver Seed. We've got money. 
And as always, head to Sharpedo Bluff. All right, Neon. We should go over to Sharpedo Bluff before we go back to the guild. Just in case Groviles come back. Let's go check out Sharpedo Bluff, Neon. Well, in that case, we're going to pause on that and do that next time. Do, 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 do. We'll quickly... All right, Neon. Well, I guess the game has locked me in. In that case, we'll go ahead and store our money. And I think we'll stop for now so we can begin with story stuff. But, yes, I do believe that that will be it for now. I'm, again, I'm loving this game. I'm just so loving it. The story, the characters, the music. And even the gameplay seems like a bit more interesting than it was in Rescue Team. With all the extra stuff, the expanded bag, the expanded storage. Then again, I don't remember running out of storage in Rescue Team. But yeah, I just, I'm loving this game. And once again, loving the Expanded Sky mod. For those that want to try it, link in the YouTube stream and YouTube videos of this. Because it's just it's so good. I like to think because I put all my Pokemon trainers as me, uh, so I like to think each game is the same one in different timelines. That would be cool. Then you can imagine like all your various trainer selves meeting up on a grand adventure. Like a good version of Rainbow Rocket. And that also makes me think of, like, all the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon teams meeting up. I think that would be also cool. Hmm. Art idea. Comic idea. To have my characters meet. But then that requires actually writing and comicking and... Uh, I need to write and draw more. Bleh, bleh. Man, I'm just loving this game. It's so grand. It's so great. It's a lot of fun. It's just utterly fun. Again... The, 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 the game is just all good. It touches my heart. It makes me tear up when most of the emotions get getting running. I love the characters. I love everything. Yeah, it's so good. I desperately hope we get more Mystery Dungeon in the future, even though, again, I do admit that Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is lucky to get as many games that it, as it has in terms of Pokemon spinoffs. Because, again, like, look at Pokemon Coliseum and then XD, Gales of Darkness. Look to the Pokemon Rangers series. Like... At best, Pokemon spinoffs get, like, two games. We have managed to get four. Technically five, if you count Rescue Team DX. <laughs> but when it comes to, like, totally original, we have gotten four Mystery Dungeon games in a relatively short amount of time, all things considering. <laughs> so lucky. So when's the next PMD stream? That should be Monday at 5 p.m. Central Standard Time because I am trying to keep to a schedule of streaming Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday at uh, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. We don't have a second game on the docket, so all streams all the time are Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. But yes, either ways, if you want more from me, everybody, I have a link tree in the description, bio, and link places of all the various sites that I, I am active on that will lead you to all the other active sites I'm active on. It is Linktree, linktr.ee slash Neon Icy Wings. In it, you'll find links to all the streaming that I do. Neon Icy Games, the YouTube channel, where you can watch me stream on YouTube or watch streams past. Or you want to watch on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings, also in the Linktree. For edited content, I'm trying to make more YouTube edited content at the Neon Icy Wings YouTube channel. If you want art from me, like my little character in the corner, as well as various Pokemon art that I've been drawing recently, you can see it through the various art site links through my link tree, like Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, Newgrounds, so many places, Blue Sky. But other things, I also do writing, and I'm writing up a storm right now, so if you want to read some of the stories I've done written, like uh, two chapters so far for a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon fanfic, can be found through my link tree links as well. Other such things, uh, I think that's about it. But if you're feeling especially kind, you can go to the tip jar of my Patreon through the link tree. So you can throw me a dollar do to stave off the darkness coming for me if you so choose. But yes, good night, Neon. Let's make tomorrow a good day. Yes, indeed. Let us indeed. Once again, thank you very much for watching, everybody. And as always, be true, be you, be happy, but most importantly, be kind. 
Bye-bye. Thank you.